Hey guys, if you enjoy the Drunken Peasants podcast, be sure to go to audibletrial.com forward slash Drunken Peasants to get your free audio book. They have books like The God Delusion or Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. Also, 150,000 other titles to choose from. So be sure to check that out. It supports the show and you get a free audio book in the process. So what the fuck do you have to lose? Tacos. Coming to you live from the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! Hey man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, atheists? You know it's okay. You're it's nothing, okay. TJ. You're garbage. It's okay. <laughs> And now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, where we DP the fuck out of the news. I'm Ben, and I'm I'm sick, so I won't be appearing on camera. But we we Ben Ben's body is covered with measles it is and shingles and, oh yeah and herpes but all of ben's fans will have nothing to fap to now so it's true snot is coming uh. out of his ass and shit is coming out of his nose <laughs> it's, a, it's an ugly sight folks who, who are you who am i no Fucking other dude in the room sucks. introduce yourself T- it's tj, TJ. You're yes tj Oh, so you're tj i thought you were tj and you were ben. oh okay sorry for the confusion uh, okay well thank you and we have a guest today. We have uh, Mercedes Carrera. Which TJ can't spell your last name, so we yeah, he, he... <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks for uh, being on the show. So, uh, from what we understand, you... Uh, for, well, actually, I should back up. For our, for our listeners who don't know who you are, do you want to just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about you? Yes, yes. I do porn. And uh, I pissed a lot of people off with Gamergate, and apparently feminists hate me. And I have a charity that does porn for charity. So you can look me up on Twitter at the Mercedes XXX. Awesome. So what, didn't something weird happen where you tried to donate to a charity and they wouldn't take your donation? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> what happened was we had, uh, we had plans set up to do a porn uh, for charity live stream event. And we wanted to set it up for uh, gamer ga- um, I can't get sorry guys uh, no, for it's able okay. gamers uh, for able gamers and it was not a gamergate related event but it was for able gamers and you can watch the interview I did on David Pakman's show about it it was just there was a lot of miscommunication and it got really weird and then I got accused of DDoSing able gamer site and what? so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was really, and it was great because I like all this shit happened overnight. Like I was asleep, um, so you know I got the email from them, and I said, "Oh, fine, we'll just you know find another charity." And then somehow overnight it became an issue, and then their website went down, and I was accused of of DDoSing it, and and so after that I just started a porn charity, and we raised eleven thousand two hundred eighty dollars for a, a scholarship fund that I created. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it was rad. So uh, my background's in engineering. You know, okay, before. like yeah. uh, like aerospace engineering, is it? Yeah, right. Well, well, my degree was in manufacturing engineering, but I worked in aerospace and I worked in telecom. So I worked in aerospace for about four or five years. Oh. Yeah, so I'm a big geek who does porn. Explain Gamergate to me, because I've never really, I don't really get it. You don't get it? No. You can go to Gamergate.me. No, I want you to explain it. It's like <laughs> explain. Too much, far too much work for me. <laughs> well, I think it's turned it it started one way and it's turned into other things. And I I actually spoke out on it when I saw a lot of the uh, I don't actually call them I guess the radical feminists that are no fun and don't like sex. And yeah. I started seeing them uh, really you know talking about gamers gamers are all misogynistic shit lords and blah blah blah. Like Anita yeah. Sarkeesian and shit. Yeah, yeah. Sarkeesian particularly pisses me off, um, <laughs> especially yeah, well, especially in her videos. You know, she she goes out of her way to critique video game characters that are rad, like Bayonetta. It's fucking 
fantastic. And um, she, you know, uses the term porno posing as though it's an insult. Like, I'd like to see her try to fucking porno pose for an hour and a half. That's just <laughs> hard work. So anyway, so I spoke out on it, you know, and it made me unpopular with that group of people who are probably the ones who had us shut down from several charities. So, you know, good job. Good job. Right. Making sure money doesn't get to disabled gamers. That was rad. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you had kind of a, a humorous exchange with Ryan Wiley. I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> Our good friend. A real yeah. man of genius. Yep. Ryan Wiley. Real man. So she, did did he was was he just like Galileo? He he said something disparaging about your profession, right? Yeah. Well, what happened was, and this is so. I guess you guys wanted to have him debate me, and I'm cool with debating anyone. It doesn't. I mean, a debate's a debate is not. It, I don't know why people need to be right all the time. Like everybody's like they have to right. be right. So it's a debate. You bring ideas to the table and you bounce them around. It's like that's what debate team or law school were all about. You know, it's, it's, that's what it's, it is. So I guess you guys wanted me to debate him. He said no. And then he went out of his way and he made a tweet. Like, I'm not going to debate some random ass porn star yeah. on, on a topic that he made a video about and that we've all been speaking about publicly. So it was an invitation to discuss his ideas right. on your show. And I guess he has a beef with TJ. So, um, and he didn't want to debate me. And, and it was, you know, he didn't say random ass engineer. He said random ass porn star. And he said it in this disparaging way. So right. uh, that someone brought that to my attention. And I, I hate that. I hate when people talk shit like that online and then they don't tag you. Like, at least t tag me in. Well, the funny, thing about, the funny thing about the Ryan Wiley thing is... He's not an expert. He had contacted Yeah, he actually contacted Ben basically saying, oh, yeah, I'll be on the show. Yeah, then we brought up the topic, and he's like, I'm not an expert. I'm not so. an expert. I'm like, oh. I just watched a video that you made about Gamergate, so I thought, you know, why, why wouldn't you want to come on and explain a little further? You know, you made like a six-minute video about it. You know, um, why that don't you... That was his entire six minutes of expertise. That right. Was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> on anything. But I, ironically enough, and this is something you don't hear Ryan Wiley do a lot, is he actually apologized to her. He did. Or, he, yeah. he 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 said he he was he admitted to being wrong and he apologized because yeah. I have I have the magical female minority pussy card. So, <laughs> so pussy all, card. All, all white male cishet feminists have to bow down before me, <laughs> even if I don't agree with them. That's awesome. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was that. I mean, it's you know, it's like I don't see. Why we we both have talked about Gamergate. Ultimately, you know, there's there are people who point to the Zoe Queen thing. I'm I'm just really tired of women uh, who are a bunch of pathetic whiner narcissists speaking out on behalf of all women everywhere and thinking that that's acceptable. Like they don't yeah. speak for me. You know, and and the strange thing about Anita Sarkeesian, it, there's a lot of speculation that behind the scenes there's actually a man pulling her strings uh was this john mcintyre yeah yeah like right that. right josh yeah. good old josh josh <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, the, well josh the thing McIntosh. is you have to think i mean the fact that she's so adamantly opposed to it means that it's probably happening because why else would you project so strongly into the world like i've never said like oh there are there are men pulling the strings of the whole world and i'm oppressed because that's not how i live my life if it doesn't happen and right, nobody's and fucking pulling my strings people and people would assume that about someone who works in the porn industry like you're just a victim you're being victimized by men you know yeah you're having sex on camera for for men to watch like women don't watch porn or anything like that right. so it's it's right. very strange yeah, well, you know, the people who say that are not people who are in the industry. I mean, every industry's got its share of fucked up people. What happens sure. in porn is you get people who are fucked up or they're young and they've got a ton of money. And so there's drama that happens. And then people go, oh, it's the porn industry. The porn industry is misogynistic. But actually, they did an article recently on uh, Dana Vespoli and a couple of the porn producers that are women. And they found there are more female leads, producers, directors in porn than there are in main than there is in mainstream television and movie media. So, actually, porn is a very female-friendly field, and we get paid quite a bit. 
are there people who are churned in, in and through it, spit out? Yeah, but you can say that about Hollywood too. Where, sure. Where's the moral panic about TV and movies? Nobody <laughs> talks about that. So it's a bunch of bullshit. There's a lot of us women that are in our 30s, 40s in the, in the industry, even in our 20s. I know 18-year-olds who have their heads on straight in the industry who are doing just fine. And I don't need some sort of like two-bit pussy little cunt to, <laughs> to, no, seriously. I mean, who the, who the fuck is Anita Sarkeesian or, or any of these women? She's an the ex- they- she's the she's the financially appointed leader of the feminist arbiter yeah. of feminism oh. and she has right. she she has the moral endowment to tell you how you should live your life and it's what really like what it boils down to rad yeah and i i think a lot of it i think in a lot of ways a lot of the women who are on that side of the aisle are just pissed off that nobody wants to fuck them so they're mad <laughs> at women like us that's my take <laughs> yeah quite yeah. possibly um well, we, we can only we, speculate. You know, I mean, like we can have a feminist on here to debate that, but none of them will come on our show. So, yeah. The, the funny thing is, a lot of the feminists are, are. This is what pisses me off too. Is I used to call myself. I still consider myself to be a second wave feminist. You know, the ones who said, "Yeah, we can do whatever the hell we want." But the the era's changed. Like, there's no patriarchy in place that's keeping me at seventy five cents to the dollar. Like, that's that doesn't happen anymore. So these women are like clinging to these archaic ideas so that they can explain away their own ineptitude. You know, they, they like to imagine there's the societal oppression and they don't want to have to realize people don't like them because they're cunts. It has nothing to do with <laughs> misogyny. Well said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, uh, the, the Ryan Wiley video that we're going to play a little later does address the, the wage gap. He's a firm believer in the wage gap. <sighs> um, it, and and he's, he has a math degree, so you better watch out. Yeah. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I mean, Gaps will be waged. Absolutely. Well, I've worked in engineering and I worked for big corporations and you find out really quickly in corporations especially that your pay for your pay grade and your education and your experience. It's really a simple formula, which somebody with a math degree should be able to understand. Simple. So um, really, if anything, it was, I was, it was unfair. If you're a minority female engineer, you get better perks and promoted more quickly. So anybody who's saying that actually hasn't worked. We like to say that we like to say that maybe he has a meth degree. <laughs> <laughs> it would also explain his complexion too. So. Oh, burn! We need yeah. aloe for that one. Oh, TJ, that's an ad hominem attack. I, oh, sorry, sorry. Yo, straw man. I, re- him, I revoke the ad hominem Joe attack straw against man. Ryan Wiley. I revoke. You're it. straw manning him, TJ. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult his physical appearance. <laughs> <laughs> That was precisely your I mean, like, I'm an TJ. ugly motherfucker. It, it, you know, like how black people are allowed to say the N-word indiscriminately. If you're ugly, can't you call other ugly people ugly? Can't you just do that? Good, oh, that means I can call other people whores and cunts. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. Cool. <laughs> I mean, I See? personally believe I can call anyone anything at any time. But. Yeah, he does do that anyway. I agree with that. I think people need to stop being so sensitive. We agree, and that's pretty much the point of everything we do here. I I remember like when 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 we were talking about having you on, when I was communicating with you, you were like, "Oh, you know, I'm uh, I've been on other shows, and I've had to kind of watch what I say to like I'm afraid of ruining like you know the the image of the show that I'm on based on what I say." And I'm like, "If anything, you're going to G- elevate our image." Yeah. <laughs> good luck doing that. Yeah, you've reached the lowest of the lowbrow yeah. here at the Drunken <laughs> Peasants podcast. Makes me so happy. Yeah, so, yeah. So warm and fuzzy. <laughs> oh, I told everybody I was getting DP, so I know people are waiting yeah. for that. Your home, my child. <laughs> <Your> home. <laughs> I kind of wish we had the chat room open right now just to see what they were saying. We I we had we to get rid of our say. chat room because people were it's posting. Pretty predictable. What yeah, they're pretty yeah, predictable. yeah. <laughs> what do they say? Or do they get upset or do they participate? They well, they <laughs> they would just be like. I wouldn't call it participate. Yeah, yeah. Right now there'd be boobs, 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 tits, tits. And lots of links to your videos. Yeah. Uh, What? No, I would, I would show tits, but they'd probably get you kicked off YouTube. That would. Yeah. 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 Uh, We there was a few people commenting on our Facebook. They were like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to do some research on your guest tonight. Maybe like watch a few videos and learn more about her." (laughs) No, they should. I want everybody to fap off to my videos. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I make them. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, that's the goal, True. you know? Yeah. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah, see, but that's that's what pisses me off about a lot of these recent feminists. They're like, that's a, that's offensive. And I'm like, no, 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 that's that's my job. 
Like, <laughs> I like that. Like, people, like, I, oh, I told everybody to send me the dick pics because everyone's like, oh, I'm so offended by the dick pics. I'm like, send them to me. I'll take all of them. I'm going to make, them into, make them into a collage. I'm going to turn this wall into dick pics. T- TJ has made some amateur yeah, videos TJ, before. She yeah, just started true. a few videos. Yeah, this time. a few videos. There's I did indeed. There, <laughs> there's there's one there's one uh, where where he's uh, starring with a banana. Oh, and nice. Then what, what was the other one? Was that like hot water or think, hot? was it a Hershey syrup? No, it was like. Uh, what was it? Oil that I'd heated up. On oh, the heated oil. heated oil, and he but poured I, it. It wasn't like <laughs> it wasn't heated enough to be like. I haven't seen him obviously, as we're related. Um. <laughs> oh, but Ben, I came up with a good joke. Scotty watches them compulsively yeah, as he course. goes to sleep at night. So, TJ, what's your favorite uh, form of government? What? What's your favorite form of government? A pornocracy? No, no. A banana yeah. republic. A banana, oh, a banana republic. republic. <laughs> I got <gotcha>. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just did a masturbation scene with a banana too. We have something in common. We're like soul sisters. In in the nether- soul sister in the Netherlands in the red light district, there's a famous thing there known as das the banana, banana show. Actually that's German, sorry. See, I'm not the first person to be yeah. in this shit. Like you I, I guess I guess they put the banana in themselves and then you eat it later on. I think I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I think, we'll have, I think we'll have to go and find out. Yeah, it's like it, it's like these live sex. It's like these sex clubs they have in Amsterdam. You go in, there's like a big stage. It's 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 way different there than it like like a strip club would be in the U.S. or something like that. So, um, yeah, I have a friend who can shoot golf balls out of her pussy. <laughs> how far? <laughs> that, seemed re- that seemed relevant. No, like pretty far too. It's amazing. Wow, like, how to- far is pretty far? Like, what like, kind of force is behind it? Like, I, if I. You know, if I set up Mach some cans three. on a fence, could she like, <laughs> like, ping, ping, ping. She's like an automatic? Do, 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 do. It makes me think of the South Park movie. What was it? Win- Winona Ryder oh, yeah, did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her ping pong ball. Trick. Oh, that, that was ping golf balls. Wow, those are heavier than ping pong balls. You gotta yeah. have at the USO ah. show, no less. What's her? Uh, what's her par? You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 what's her golf score? Yeah. Well, par is like the. Par I don't, like the I don't watch handicap. golf, so I just had to. I, I just like, reach for what seems. So, like the like the, the mechanism for. inside of her vagina that she uses to do that. What? How would that feel like to a man that has their cock inside of her? I I, I don't know. know. That's like a. I will. Rip. I will break <laughs> yeah. you. Maybe there. Maybe that Republican guy was right, and there really is a mechanism to shut down yeah. rape because <laughs> if if it if it's capable. If it's capable of shooting out projectiles, you know, it's like you're just gonna rip their dick off and just like, you yeah, know, if someone tries to rape her, bad. yeah, her dick, his dick just gets ripped off yeah. and then you know, <laughs> just shoots back out, like a little blood sprinkler. Maybe also they like killed him too with such force. Yeah, like, like, like she shoots his own penis into his head. <laughs> and he's just, Boom, <laughs> dead. <laughs> so, Mercedes, do you do you identify as an atheist? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you guess you know, so? I, I mean, I have to look around at the world and think, like, whoever, if somebody did design it, they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked right. Up. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you know, it's, I don't know. I've had some really weird, like, paranormally shit that I have seen firsthand with other people who are also sober and not on drugs. And I'm like, how the fuck did that happen? But I have to think there's got to be some sort of, like, sciencey thing behind it. Probably. Um, you know, and you get into like the idea of like there's a god and he looks like Zeus and he knows every hair on your head. I just I don't I don't buy it. Right. Yeah, we're we're, uh, we're going to play a quick video here uh, by a guy that makes YouTube videos. His name is Wild Bill. Okay. He uh he he he's the typical like western cowboy guy he wears a a cowboy hat and we're going to we're going to play the video and we'll stop and comment on it as we go along. All right. He has great theme music, too. Yeah, you know you're in for something good now. Hello, everybody. Wild Bill for America here. Won't be any squirrels in this video, but there's usually dolphins out there somewhere, so watch close. You know, people say you're not supposed to pick on the handicapped. I can't even tell there's water. The mouth I, mean. atheist, I just can't help myself. Besides, picking on them is cheaper than paying to go to the zoo to watch monkeys. But here's... Oh. Some <laughs> yeah. Uh. Wow. You're mentally handicapped and you're monkeys, TJ. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Way well, you can have fun with atheists. Allow them to recite their memorized spiel about how there is absolutely no evidence for God. And then ask them about life. Wait, on hold the on. Planet. Why do I need a memorized spiel to say that? <laughs> 
There's no evidence of God. It doesn't. Is that like something he would have to memorize, like write it down on a cue card, look at it every <laughs> night for like twelve hours? I, 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 I like to write I, it on my hand. Yeah, you have well, to rehearse. I'm an atheist. Uh, there is no evidence. Oh, sorry, this part got smudged. Um, <laughs> dogs, good. There's no evidence of good. Oh no, it says God. Sorry, no evidence of God. Yeah, it doesn't take. It's not a spiel, you know. All you have to do is say that, and anyone who says there is, be like, okay, present it to me. Well, he, he's going to tell you, TJ. God, ignorant fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, here, here probably gonna miss it. Why be an atheist? One of these atheists who isn't absolutely convinced that there are alien civilizations out there somewhere. They have genuine faith that out there somewhere are Vulcans and Klingons and whatever, and someday we're gonna meet up with them and we're all gonna play with our spaceships. Okay. Wait, all uh, right. Where do I sign up? I, I believe in the possibility of life on other planets, but I I would say that more than likely the chances of us meeting them someday are pretty slim. Unless they somehow find the way to travel, you know, very fast, you know, for a very long period of time. I don't I I don't know, this guy's so full of shit. How can you say that? Yeah, Wild Bill, he's full of shit. <laughs> He looks. He has a hat. It's charming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's very folksy. He's got. Very... He's got a cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. Does he live in Texas? Does he live yes. in Texas? Uh, I don't know where he lives, but I, I'm guessing. I think someone said he lived in Florida. Actually. He doesn't have a, a Texas accent at all. No, he doesn't. But he he claims to have been some sort of cop at some point. Fuck that. He was Walker, Texas Ranger. Well, yeah, yeah. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> The show is based so on be his careful life. careful when playing this game because if you point out to them that there really is no evidence for the existence of such civilizations, they will sometimes attack with what? religious zeal. You see, in the world of atheism, also known as spiritual retardation, it is absolutely impossible for God <laughs> to exist in spite of thousands of years of eyewitness testimony, archaeological... So he's saying there's thousands of years of eyewitness testimony. Now, we, we know that the writers of the Bible were not eyewitnesses. No. Uh, because... That's garbage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the people who were there supposedly to witness the events of the Bible... Mo, uh, you know, they weren't standing there, you know, like ready to write things down all the time. And who knows if they even could write, you yeah. know, bullshit. Yeah. A court stenographer Dude. followed Jesus around everywhere. Right. <laughs> if, no, if, but Moses had tablets, too. Yeah. I was just say if neuroscience has taught us anything, it's that eyewitness testimony is the most valid and uh, best form of evidence possible. Yeah. People don't lie either. No, it no. never happens. And no one's ever made up crazy fanciful stories and no one's ever gotten shit wrong. No. You know, it's just we you know, if you believe in, if you if you believe in that the Memory Bible is, is like divine shit then you you believe in human infallibility, not God's infallibility. Right. Historical and literary evidence. And even though there's literary is evidence. No such evidence. There's also literary evidence of Harry fucking Potter. <laughs> and He's an archaeological shit. though. He said, yeah. I would like to know where the archaeological evidence is. We found a, a Jesus fossil. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. The Jesus fish? We know it's Jesus because he's in a T shape. <laughs> shape of a T. For shape extraterrestrials, of a T. atheists say that it is impossible that we are alone in the universe. Ah, yes. Atheists. I wouldn't say it's impossible. Yeah, I would I just say it's astonishingly fucking unlikely. Right. The universe is kind of a big place. Uh, and, and while you're out of the room, TJ, he said that atheists are sure that someday we're going to meet, you know, like we're going to be visited by the Klingons or something like that. Well, that'd be awesome. That would be pretty no, sweet. No, it wouldn't. They would fuck us up. I know, but <laughs> it'd still be awesome. It'd still be like, damn. Yeah. Dude, I mean, like of all the possible ways the world could end, Klingon invasion is probably the best. I would take... I would take that over fucking some lame ass meteor nuclear war or some super virus. The Kling, like the bring on the Klingon twenty twelve. Oh, we can make Klingon porn. Think Whoa. Mind <laughs> yeah, blown, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm everything I'm, in Star Trek leads me to believe that Klingons fuck pretty violently. Yeah, too. they do actually. They like break bones and shit. Yeah, like she the, just like mm, the yeah, woman like punches Klingon. the guy in the face to like initiate it or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're Yeah. Every, every <laughs> they like it rough. Hey, Everyone's punching and fucking beating the shit. Well, they're a warrior culture, yeah. so they gotta fight and fuck at you the same time. You need to pitch this idea, Mercedes, to someone. This, is, this could be fucking hot. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> sure. I'm sure Klingon porn already exists, but I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
proudly marching themselves into hell while telling us how intelligent they are. Spiritual retardation. <laughs> I'm marching to hell now, guys. Bye. Killed. Occasionally, God Almighty reaches down and rips the blinders off of one of these atheists and totally changes their life, gives them hope and purpose and an eternal home in the eternal kingdom. How do I know this? Because he did it with me. Wow. And that's one oh. reason. You know, heaven uh, heaven doesn't sound like fun to me, like the way the way Christians describe it. Hold, hold on, hold on. Oh my God! Oh, are you converting now? The TJ? veil has been lifted from my eyes. Can you see? I TJ? see the truth. You have been blind. I see the truth. <laughs> you have been blind. Hail TJ. Satan! Oh. Hail oh, wait. Satan! Wait, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Change yeah. that to God. No, no. I had Satan lifted the veils from my eyes, and now I realize that he's my dark lord and master. <laughs> You're marching to hell, then, TJ, with your spiritual yeah. retardation. No, well, enjoy I'm a, hell. Buddy. I'm gonna be leading the march in hell. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's better than you know, if you worship being part Satan of it. in life, you get to stay in the nicer part of hell. Oh. The nicer oh. part. Yeah. That's nice. It's like the it's like the VIP bottle service club. Right. Yeah. No, it's, and, that's what porn. That's what porn is. And you get to get you, you get to get your picture taken with Satan. You know. Oh, get, like, it's like. Oh, go it's ahead. like AVN. It's like AVN with Satan. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah. AVN with Satan. Is there, an open, yeah. TJ, is there an open bar in hell, TJ? Or do you have to pay? Um, I'm not sure. You don't know. I'm not okay. a hell expert. Well, you know, get back to me on that one. All right. Why I endure the filthy hate mail from these people, I will never stop encouraging them to seek the one true God who, through Jesus Christ, opened the door for them to be reconciled to their creator. But of course, I'm going to have a little fun along the way. I love to show people my atheist imitation. You know what really help. sucks? One of these days, probably not even that long Wild now, Bill. Wild Bill will be walking down the street or something. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be like masturbating into a fucking peanut butter jar or some shit. And he'll <laughs> die of a heart attack. This will create life. And he'll die of a heart attack right then and there. And he's going to die, and he's going to be non-existent. He's not going to go to heaven or hell or anything. And the thing that sucks is you can't gloat to him like, You were wrong, bitch. Ain't no heaven. Stupid oh, fuck. I know why you're bringing that up. Because me and you were talking, you're like, What if you killed someone you really hated? It'd be like, You couldn't even gloat when they were dead. You'd just be like, well, I killed you. It's like, I was like, well, you, maybe you have to shoot them and then torture them and like they toy with them or something. You're yeah, like, that's why you got to yeah. be... You got to... You, you gotta. It's, it's better to just brutally torture someone forever than to kill them <laughs> i think that's the moral lesson we that's can derive. why satan is your dark lord yeah yeah you know and that's satan has got i used to think it was okay to just kill people now i realize torture that if them. they're dead all their pain and suffering is over it's better to just torture them while they're alive <laughs> <laughs> and that's why two is joining the cia so well, yeah, that's I got it from Satan and the CIA because Satan actually founded the CIA in the 1920s. Illuminati, uh, we're oh. gonna. <laughs> that's why I'm here, actually. I'm, I'm, I've come to convert you. The entire porn industry is nothing more than Illuminati based. I read it on a website. Did Ev you? Uh, I everything is Illuminati right. based, though. Yeah, we there's this guy we watch uh, um, from time to time that we play here on the show. <clears throat> His name's the Vigilant Christian Mario. Yeah, and he. Everything is is like a secret Illuminati message, you know. Uh, please, please tell me you're not bringing this up because we're about to play. No, 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 no. I I, I don't have him lined up oh, today. Thank but you. he he's even said that credit card debt is satanic. satanic. Oh, totally. That's yeah. that's why the porn industry and the banking cabal are all together, and we're just trying to get your credit cards for porno debt. So we can get your souls for Satan forever. Oh, okay. Neat. Well, yeah. that doesn't sound so bad, really. Yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not when so you put bad. it like that. <laughs> I'm on board. Uh, no. I, could, I could deal with that. Let's Ooh. uh, better let's, than spending all my life worshiping some cosmic TJ. asshole that wants me to behave. You're a Jesuit. <laughs> let's move oh, on to Ryan Wiley. No, Ben, we have to play all of Wild Bill's video because otherwise we'd be taking him out of context. Ah, what if he says something at the end? What if at the end of the video he says, All that shit I just said, I was just kidding, guys. You know, what if he did that? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, we'd be taking him out of context. That's that's you know that's oh, that's, Ryan, that's why our that? show is not to be taken seriously. TJ, let's walk out and protest when we see Ryan Wiley. No, 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 Ryan Wiley. We is, walk out and protest. Is relevant TJ. to the to the show this time. Nonsense. And this video is is actually uh, directed towards TJ. Neat. Oh, okay, good. Never mind. Let's Neat. watch it. So the amazing atheist suggested an that the Like a Girl campaign is about Pause. female oppression. Pause. All right. Go ahead. 
<laughs> what? I, I, just, I just needed a break okay. for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> you needed like a 10-second break. Oh, you, know, I needed, <laughs> you know, it's like when you dip a toe in the pool before you jump in, so you kind of know what you're getting into. My, this yeah. pool is too cold. That was That's yeah. the same principle here, you know? Or like an well, anal sex scene. Right. <laughs> <laughs> only the tip. <laughs> only the tip. Yeah. Oh, oh. You know, I I don't like when I make a clean analogy and then someone else has to make the dirty one. <laughs> Sorry, T. I'm off my used game. to it. I'm off my game. Yes. She's like, what? What's going on here? <laughs> and right from the start, we have our first straw man. That was not what the ad was about. Hmm. I mean, did you watch it? Did you it's watch about cultural it? attitudes and the fact that if we tell you know women when they're growing up to become teens, perhaps if they're inferior um, at certain things, they they might not grow up and might view themselves in a negative way. Pause. Cultural might 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 maybe come might out maybe it could I don't know. It could do this. There's no evidence it does, but it could. What do you think, Mercedes Carrera? <laughs> Because Even though I can't spell your last name. That's all right. It doesn't matter. You idiot, TJ. Ma nothing matters in this universe. Right. Well, I mean, I'm a, Including culture, a, correct? Well, as <laughs> a minor I'm a minority female who grew up in poverty, so I'm going to talk to that. <laughs> and I'd like to know why it's always privileged white dudes who want to talk for me. Like, I figured shit out just fine. Everything's fine. You know what? Some no. of us... Listen... You know, Listen, you, sh you need this tool. Shut up, you don't you. understand. You need this tool. <laughs> you don't explain it to you. You don't even understand how fucking oppressed you are right now, okay? <laughs> yeah. Brainwashed by the patriarchy. <laughs> Brainwashed. Oh, no, I no, I like to oppress myself. I renamed my Hitachi patriarchy and my dildo misogyny, so while I internalize my misogyny, I like to oppress myself with patriarchy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's good. I saw That's you tweet good. that, so I already knew what you were, where you were going, but... Uh, oh, go but ahead. Yeah, give it away. It is funny, though. It is funny. It I, is I hadn't heard it yet. Legitimately very funny. <laughs> no, because, because fuckers like that are always telling me that I don't know how to women. Yeah, you're so stupid at that. <laughs> I'm stupid. But you're, terrible. You're, I'm terrible. You, you, you woman wrong as fuck, dude. You don't I even do. know what you're yeah, doing. bro. Come on. I, Gotta do it properly. I don't you fucking know how to woman, woman? Come on. I don't, I, I'm so bad at womaning that I make men... Like pay to do things that other feminists give away for free. It's not bad. <laughs> hey, you exploit you exploit men if anything. I You're do. bad. I'm a men are just sexual I, objects. I do. I objectify them too, and I make them send me dick pictures. You're a matriarchy. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. The matriarchy has us. We're we're all be, we're now the meninist podcast. <laughs> no, it's totally true because you guys you, you have to pay for porn and you have to pay for dates. Yeah. I don't. No, I don't. I, I, I don't pay for shit. I just. He I just, steals everything. He all goes the, to the store just loads. His car I don't even need. I don't even need porn anymore. All I need is a thought bubble above my head T and a hand. <laughs> TJ. Uh, TJ can't watch. TJ can't watch porn like videos because he doesn't like the sounds. Like, I don't quiet, like hearing humans quiet, make mortals. noises. I really don't. Yeah. I mean that. That that goes for just people talking and everything, though. I mean, like, I don't like to hear human beings making sounds. I much prefer solitude in my own company. <laughs> do you prefer? What about the sounds of animals? Does that do it for you? Uh, no. Like I don't. You, you know, I don't. You know, if I had my choice, I would live in a very quiet world, honestly. Which is strange because I'm such a loud person. Yeah. But that's all I want to hear is my own voice, really. <laughs> yeah. At least just echoing honest. back. At to least me. you're honest, TJ. You know, honestly, it'd be best if I lived in a place with a good echo, so that every time I said something, I could hear it again. Live in a cave. Yeah. TJ, TJ, yeah. TJ. All That's right. why all the wisest men in history had to go live in a cave for a while. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna finish Ryan's video so he doesn't complain that we never finished. You it. Never finished. He it, looks ben. like he's trying Straw to suck man, a dick ben. from the side. Oh no idea where this oppression thing came in. Oppression wasn't ma mentioned at all, but hey, if you can oppression. argue whatever your opponent wants you to, well, <laughs> it's real easy. Hands a straw man. Okay, I hold mean, on. good word. Hands a straw man. So, I mean, oppression wasn't mentioned explicitly in the ad, but it was pretty implied that, like, oh, wimp, you know, these girls... You know, which ad was it again? Just to give it, a little context to, to it. for the con it was the Super Bowl ad for the like a girl ad. Yeah, yeah. like a girl. Okay, Basically, 
Uh, they show little girls, like, I don't know, older. It's like throw like a girl. Older then, girls and boys, yeah. and they say, you know, do this like a girl, do that like a girl, and they do it like really ninny-ish, and then they show younger girls, and they do it with way more enthusiasm and vigor, and therefore we're supposed to infer that society has, you know, stamped them with this horrible like a girl label, and it's, you know, uh, st- stifling their potential and blah, blah, blah. But obviously, when you look at the facts of our society, the potential of women is not being stifled in most respects. No. And that was the point. And he's about to talk about the wage gap. Um, I guess I guess I can let him do it before I refute what okay. he's saying. Yeah. But sure. TJ. But I mean, what what does TJ use to suggest that women aren't oppressed? And overall, um, I I think that's a loaded word. But what what does TJ say? Well, he says women live longer. Yes. Uh, women commit less suicide, uh, men graduate from high school less and more women are going to college, and the wage gap all but disappears when you control for education. Now, let me say a little bit about the wage gap, because Go ahead. TJ decided that, that to wasn't the only control, but that's fine. for that claim. One was PolitiFact, and the other, I believe, was the Washington Post or something similar. Now, both of those sources are talking about the president's statement that women earn 70 cents for the same job. 77 cents. This is not... Right, ho- hold on. So, I, I already know what he's, about to, what he's about to say. He's about to say, oh, well, those articles said that there are wage gaps in certain industries and that when you don't account for the, you know, gaps in employment, like, you know, women aren't all... You know, there's certain industries where men are more represented and women are more... Certain industries where women are more represented. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you, when you factor all that into account, then you can come up with an overall wage gap. But there's no wage gap between women doing the same work. And that's the figure that feminists always trot out and say, this is the wage gap. Women make 70 cents uh, to the dollar uh, for what a man would make and, you know, for doing the exact same work. And that is the wage gap. Now, if, if, if they presented it honestly and said, you know, women are underemployed in certain high-paying jobs and in other jobs there is a slight wage gap, then that would actually be true. And you could say, okay, well, that's a problem. We can address it. But that's not how the wage gap is presented. And so the wage gap, as you present it, Ryan Wiley, is false and fuck you. Sounds good. Yeah. Good. So next. Just, however, that... The wage gap all but disappears. When- yeah, yeah, I've already refuted all that. You're a liar, Ugh. TJ. You're a liar! So let's play whatever this is. <laughs> what is it? I just clicked on the next video Bellicose on there. Nation. It says Hello Bellicose and Nation. Welcome to the Bellicose Nation. Come on in, sit down, pour yourself a tall one, because today we're going to have a little bit of fun. What the fuck is happening? I don't even know. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> That's like the Continental Congress or the signed the Declaration of Independence or something. By Miss Lee Sargent, obviously a traditional Christian babe, who not only has the good sense of judgment but also a good sense of humor, uh-huh. and she mixed the two together and she drew up a list of reasons why she will never date a liberal guy. Okay, never date a liberal guy. That's yeah. fine. There you go. What does it matter? <laughs> she she can have she can have her fucking preferences. I don't I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. No it's one no cares. Deal. Sorry, why, TJ. I don't even understand. Like, no why why does it even need to be like a public? Like, I could put out a list like eight reasons I will never like coleslaw. <laughs> like, who gives a shit? You should totally do that now. And so, in the spirit of fun. In conversations, I thought we might pass it right on here at the Bellicose Nation. Okay. And for several reasons. At least you said that. A, I want to be a service to others. Guys, pay attention here because if you're not a liberal, you don't want to be doing things that make people confuse you, for one. Oh, okay. B, this might help (laughs) conservative (laughs) ladies to articulate their dating demands a little better. And C, here at the Bellicose Nation, we love reason and insight and all of that, but we also love humor. And so okay. my liberal friend... 
Why does All this? Right, why fine. does this need this much prefacing? Just get to the fucking <laughs> list. Yeah, yeah. So many people do this in their videos. They they fucking do this long diatribe before. It's like just get to the fucking. We video. like humor, but we like seriousness. But th I like cereal. You know what it is? It's these people actually listen to their stupid fucking fans who are like, "You guys need to do more like this," and you know we get confused when you say this thing. It's like, well, that's on you, you stupid bastards. If you can't tell where the line is between funny and serious, then you know. I don't know. I can't help Quit you. Quit hiding behind satire, teacher. We don't need 20 minutes of fucking prefacing. Like, oh, but this list is meant to be humorous, but also kind of serious. And, you know, in a way, if you're not liberal, it'll help you not seem liberal. Because, you know, you wouldn't want that. Because then this chick won't date you. Chucks. Everyone's listening in. Relax. Get a sense of humor for just a few minutes. <laughs> if I can enjoy <laughs> the leftist humor from time to time... You can broaden <laughs> your scope a little bit too. Okay. You guys are a little too uptight anyway, but don't worry. <laughs> All right. Well, the Go the on. liberals are the uh, uptight ones. Yep. So uh, some liberals are uptight. I mean, sure. you know, like if you're like one of the, like the 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 politically correct progressive types, but was anyone offended by that statement? Oh my god, I think someone might have been offended. Let's take a poll. Let's see who was offended. Out of the I was slightly offended. Out of the ten thousand people I here. I was slightly offended. Okay, one man was offended. Let's not do this, this anymore. This conversation needs to be scrapped. It's gone. It's gone. I'm here to help you Why with that. Now, Obama I have condensed this a little. <laughs> He's like, oh, Obama's smiling. I'm, I'm funny. <laughs> yeah, that's basically... Even he, Obama outraged. would laugh at this. He's yep. outraged. Oops. Condensed milk. Condensed <laughs> And I may ad lib, but I will put a link below. And if okay. you want to check out her column... This... Just head sucks. Down there and yeah, yeah. This ben. video is stupid. All this right. We're, th is this is something we garbage. do here. Garbage. If if the if if we start to watch the video and it ends up being garbage, we just skip it. Yeah, we so, just say fuck it. Actually, let's let's play Onision next. Oh, you piece of shit. Why do some girls oppose feminism? Warning. Uh, hey, there's this incredibly Hey, she's blocking thing his on the face. Internet. That's pretty cool. over here. Oh, why would you do that? Explaining why they're against feminism. You people are so fucking stupid. And this is me explaining not only why some girls are against feminism, but why you're a total fucking moron for being against feminism. I don't Okay. All valid points. So, <laughs> I mean, you're a fucking moron. Why? Because I said so. Have you ever seen this guy before, Mercedes? No, and I kind of wish I hadn't seen him at all. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, who's, me. Ev everyone who looks upon him feels this Everyone way. feels that. Uh, un unless I'm going to need like an hour with a vibrator to just undo that. <laughs> Well, uh, if if you were a girl age ten to fifteen, you may think otherwise. That's like his demographic. That's his fan base. So yeah. cute. He's yeah. So cute. Wow. Yep. Look high. at his hair. Oh my god. Oh my god. His hair. I wish you would date me. I want to touch his hair. I want to kiss. No, his he's hair. not. Get away from him. I want to pluck his eyebrows. I'll kill you. <laughs> You're a slut. I want to lick You're tapioca slut, pudding TJ. out of his nose. You're a slut. Yeah. I don't need feminism because I'm not a delusional, disgusting, hypocritical man hater. I respect men and they respect really. You're not only going to blindly generalize multiple times, but you're also going to assume that men just automatically respect you. I'm a man and I don't really respect what you said. Because <laughs> guess what? You wouldn't have the right to vote without feminists. You wouldn't have the right to divorce a man without feminists. You wouldn't have anything near equal pay as men without feminists. Okay, but those were very different feminists at a very different time with a very different agenda. No, but but voting, and you know, divorce. Did you hear him? It's feminism, duh. <laughs> For all we know, women would literally be treated like cattle without feminists. Is this how you want, wow. you want to be walking around the streets with only a little bit of skin showing? You really want to be treated like property? You want to be born into the What's world? weird? But what's yeah, weird is that... most of the feminists today defend Islam, like against oh, that's their culture oh they're the they're the same cunts that are after me and all the the porn stars all the time if it was up to sarkeesian she'd have us all wearing fucking burkas like, <laughs> and how come it's always these these little faggy fucks that are making videos like this because he I'm, I'm just i'm sorry respect he's just our he's, culture because he's just like he, he he's I don't know. He's just pure evil, honestly. He really yeah, is. Yeah, this guy is... He's a total scumfuck. This, if you knew anything about his history, you'd be even more disgusted you know, even there looking is, at him. There invited, is one video. There's, he invited TJ to go on the Steve Wilco show with him. Hey, but guys, there is one video that Anisio made that I really respect. It's called I Am a Banana. And he danced around a banana suit. It's a really great video. Oh, okay. I think you'd like that video, TJ. But yep. you might get some uh, strange ideas at the end of it. Yeah. Like shoving Onision up your ass? He, he yeah. might try. He's really small here, so <laughs> he, you might be able to. It might be possible.
destined to be sold off to the highest bidder. Is that really what you fucking want? Because yep. in our history is the overwhelming tendency for women what to be oppressed. Argument. And when someone is oppressed, they need someone to stand up and say, this is fucking bullshit and it needs to change. It's very difficult to do that without feminists. 14 women say they don't You know how feminism. like... Samuel Jackson, when he curses, it's like twice as powerful as when a normal per person curses. I think when Onision curses, it's like the opposite effect. It goes the other <laughs> like direction. <a> it's like, <laughs> you're a it's, fucking moron. It's f fucking bullshit, guys. <laughs> that is how he sounds. I'm just pissed off because he dresses up as a woman most of the time. And he gets yep. treated like shit. I bet you anything that's it. He's, he, he doesn't really get angry. He just gets really snarky. Yep. He's really smarmy. The snark level just yeah. keeps increasing. AKA 14 dumb motherfuckers. I don't yeah. have feminism because I respect all humans, not just one gender. It's not about idea. females being better than men. It's about women having the same rights as males. How does that not register in your brain? Is it hmm. um, I would argue that that is not the the focus of modern no, feminism. It's not. No. No. No, no modern feminism is all about shutting down any sort of sexual competition and like low, it's just like no child left behind, except it's no woman left behind. And they want to create the lowest common denominator mean, mean and they want all women to meet that level. That's what it really is. That's why they hate porn. Have been fighting so hard for so long that you've finally gotten so comfortable with the lifestyle these women earn for you that you no longer appreciate it like some spoiled fucking brat that was born with a silver spoon in its mouth. This is August 18 this year. Gender pay gap. Female bosses earn 35% less than male colleagues. Obviously, there's a huge oh, fucking no. problem here even today. People who do the same job with the same quality and effort deserve the same fucking pay. Doesn't matter if they're a girl or a boy. So to reduce this pay gap that still exists today, who are you gonna rely on? This chick holding up a sign, ignorant protesting feminism an idea that exists to fight for the sign holders very rights okay this is just dumb so no, I, the, i'm sorry go ahead mercedes no i don't i mean you know you have they, they take they cherry pick these articles I, it said tw like 35 percent of female bosses bosses in what are they bosses of kindergarten teachers or are they bosses of of rocket scientists like this is such bullshit cherry picking statistics and this is the problem is most of these modern feminists have no background in any of the stem sciences so they have no idea how to look at stats so they just they just believe this shit it yeah. pisses me off yeah he was presenting it as just a generalization you know like he wasn't even being specific you know he's just saying <laughs> oh just you know bosses in general female bosses make less in general than their male counterparts so you want me to believe that Onisia has failed in quantitative analysis that's, that's extremely <laughs> hard to believe guys yeah I'm very skeptical of that Ladies, if you're gonna hold up a sign saying you're against feminism, I beg you, do it with a burqa on. At least then you would be honest about your real position. To all you morons <laughs> who are too fucking and stupid man. to look up the definition of feminism before you make one of those asinine signs full of ignorance, this is the fucking definition. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Not superiority, so you fucking morons. So well. bad. What? What is he? The Where did he get this? From? The dictionary definition doesn't really matter when that's not how modern feminists are conducting themselves. Right. Well, how, I, com how come the, the most of the opposition I get these days are from radfems, not average feminists, but these extreme, this like extreme group. They're like the ISIS of uh, feminism. Uh, they feminism. are. They won't shut the fuck up. And 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 then you've got these these guys like I love this. Like here's this dude who's telling girls how they should feel about feminism so which one's patriarchy dude which one's mono misogyny like who's who's the one who's actually pulling the puppet strings like oh i'm a dude and i'm telling you how you should think about this fuck you it's a bunch of shit <laughs> oh, no, i challenge that dude to a boxing match any fucking time <laughs> and i was a boxer for three fucking years i'll meet him in the ring then we'll talk about equality i like will pay yes. so much money yes, yes. let's make happen. this happen yeah I, I would love to he is, believe it or not, this guy is actually really popular on YouTube. Uh, you know, among yeah. a certain demographic. Did you see his hair? Oh my god, it's so cute. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Equality. So when you sit here like a fucking jackass, opposing your own goddamn human rights, you don't help anyone. You just hurt yourself. So congratulations yeah. on punching yourself in the fucking face. This whole anti-feminism movement is for complete 
fucking idiots. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. So many women simply don't understand how life was before feminism. I seriously have a hard time believing society today. We're acting like a bunch of fucking spoiled teenagers who have had everything handed to us. And what do we do? God, so, just the man this who... Is, this is like, so ironic. He looks and talks and acts like a spoiled teenager and has... He's like, like 30 years old. Yeah, and has for like the last yeah. like 10 years on YouTube. That's like his entire sh his entire shtick is I'm like I'm the spoiled teenager that never grows up. He does a fucking. Wait, how, he's not a teenager. I thought he was like 18. How old is no. he? No, no, he's like 30 something. He's a yeah, middle he's aged old. man, or or maybe maybe Ooh. late twenties. Maybe he's old. He does oh, a fucking. Better. He does a fucking jump cut like every five words too. You know, he like he's not very good. He's, at stringing he's a perfectionist, yeah. guys. He's a perfectionist. We turn towards our ancestors. Why is he so tiny? Came before us, <laughs> metaphorically. Our like parents. seriously, so we hold say, on. Thank you for being he, so like, caring. So he's a hobbit. When he, when he, when you cut your video together like this, I mean, like I know I'm small here, but I'm in a like screen that contextualizes it. When you just like put yourself all small in the corner of the video, and there's no screen or no box or anything, it just looks like you're like this little miniature person that's. You know, like talking about Dude. these giants in the background. Dude, Anisian's a fucking hobbit, man. You gonna discriminate against him against that too? He, he does like, have like the Elijah he's, Woods he's short. haircut oh. going. Yeah. On. You know what? TJ is an elitist because he's really tall. Hashtag can, Onision the he, Hobbit. He cannot fucking <laughs> accept that Onision's small. You're everyone, a bad person, TJ. Everyone who's watching now, take to Twitter. Hashtag Onision the Hobbit. You know what to do. Yeah, and and tag him. This bullshit. I mean, he talks about women were so worse off before feminism. Read a fucking history book. A hundred years ago, men and women, all of them lived to like 50 years old at the most. Like most people lived to 30 or 35 and they died of typhoid and, and curable diseases and shit like that. Yep. So these dudes have no context. Like, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's so bad for women. It's like, it's bad for men. She talked to some dude who's working in a coal mine in the 1930s. Like, fuck you. These people have no context at all. Like, oh, these women are so, you're, you're privileged now because of feminism. Feminism helped you. You know what? Actually, didn't seem to help my family much. You know what helped my family? Fucking hard work and merit. That's what helped my family. Had nothing to do with that. Times fucking change. It's like this is insane. That dude pisses me off. <laughs> I think we're, I think we're finding out why people wouldn't come on to debate you because you'd probably destroy them. <laughs> That's you know, probably why. I think you know it's true. Somebody said they wouldn't debate me. I'm like, how much box me with that? <laughs> Fight. Now Ryan Wiley would be really scared. He's like, oh shit, I can't do that. I'll stand in the ring and let you beat me. I'm sorry for being a white male. I'm sorry. I already, I already said I would, I would, I will box any male feminist that will take me on. Equality, come fucking box me. How about that? Who, oh, who would you rather see her box, uh, awesome. Ryan Wiley or Onision? Maybe we can make it a triple threat match. A triple, triple threat, threat <laughs> boxing match. <laughs> Just hit, hitting both sides. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun because you know because they, they're like oh women and men are equal I'm like totally let's get in the ring how about that consider it so loving towards me for sacrificing yourself for the sake of my advancement in this world because I'm an ungrateful spoiled piece of shit and I'm so stupid I don't even realize by holding <laughs> he's up talking this about sign, himself, I'm I agree. begging for things to go back to the way they were before feminism existed. So I ask you this, if you are going to be so goddamn stupid as to oppose your own gender's equality to the other gender, do not vote ever again because without feminists you wouldn't have the right to vote. You oppose them, that would be hypocritical for you to vote. Do not accept a paycheck that is equal to your male co-workers. Refuse it and say, no, I'm against feminism. I want to be paid less. If you ever marry a guy and you want to divorce him, well, tough fucking luck. If there were no one fighting for women's rights, do you really think you'd have the ability to divorce someone? You're stuck with him because in your ideal world without feminists, you don't have the right to decide who you're with. No. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. Are, are we done with Onision? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder That's... if he gets a lot of pussy. <laughs> like, like the only really reason to do this shit is to get lots of pussy. I bet he gets lots of eighteen-year-old pussy by doing this. He does. Like, oh, oh, he yeah. does. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why he does it for sure. Yeah, like if, if so, you would have like, said if you would have said this about Ryan Wiley, I'd be like, no, but no, no. come on, wait a minute. Well, no yeah. one believes that. I mean, right. no. I'm pretty this sure guy, he does though. They I would all do it for pussy. You know, I would I would believe Ryan Wiley could fly before I believed he was drowning <laughs> in pussy. Pigs are flowing. Ryan Wiley got laid. It's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Uh, no, he's getting the pussy.
That's why he does it. Yeah. I, I hate the fucking male feminists who do it for the pussy. It's just, it's particularly obnoxious. I mean, I hope they get the pussy. Because if women are stupid enough to fuck him because he does this shitty show, then, you know, good on him. Good I on guess. you, Onision. They did it all for the nookie. Good on you. There you go. Uh, <laughs> we cracked the code. All right, so uh, now we're going to play uh, a little bit of a video that Tim Black made. He, he's a guy that we've had on our show a few times, and uh, he kind of points the blame at you, TJ, and other atheists on YouTube. H- have you seen? No. Nope. nope. It's, it's regarding that murder that happened in North Carolina where those Muslims right. were murdered by yeah. the... Crazy yeah. fuck. Yeah. Cra- yeah. Craig Hicks. Yep. Is that really his last name, Hicks? Yep. Craig Hicks. <laughs> what a fitting last name. All right. Watching Tim's Take Live, and I'm your host, Tim Black. Tim okay, Black. white people be terrorists? Yeah. Yes. I'm serious. Yeah. Yes. Can white people be terrorists? Yep. Yes, Tim. Yes, they can. <laughs> because what happened in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, looks like an act of terror. No, it doesn't. I wouldn't say it's terrorism. It's a murder. Like a, what a happened multi- there? Uh, okay, well, uh, a guy who was... Uh, a guy named Craig Hicks, who was uh, an atheist and a progressive and um, all these things, uh, basically shot three Muslims... Uh, whether or not he he might have done it because they were Muslim, but the main the, it had to do with parking or the, something. The police concluded that it was over a parking dispute. His wife said it was over a parking dispute. I tend to believe it was probably over a parking dispute. Um, but you know, even even if he did kill them because they were Muslims, that would be a hate crime, sure. But it would not be terrorism because terrorism is violence or the threat of violence in order to affect political change, and there's no political agenda there, so it would not be terrorism. He terrorized these people, and then he shot and killed them. Three people. Three promising young people with futures. Well, apparently not. Ah. Now, they want to say that it has something to do with a There's nothing offensive. They they don't have a future. They're dead. I'm just not. Here, take it back. I don't want to buy it. I'm not purchasing it. I'm not going to bring it home with me. Keep your bullshit story. Because, see, in my opinion, the initial conflict may have been something to do with a parking space. Uh But since the murder happened in their home, I'm wondering what the hell, unless we're now parking cars inside the house. Okay, well, how about this? Obviously, maybe. Maybe he goes to park his car there in his spot. He knocks on their door. He accosts them. Things get out of hand. He fucking shoots them. So that's a perfectly plausible explanation for why it would be in the house. But we don't, I, I don't know the narrative. But the police investigation, as well as his wife's public testimony, says, well, not testimony, but public statement, says that it was over a parking dispute. So. Yeah, the, I mean, the facts need time to come to light. You know, you this guy. Declare something. This guy was an anti theist, okay? He, sure. did, he was against religion. If he had shot three people who happened to be Christian, would we be saying that he shot them because they were Christian? I don't think so. I think everyone would have no trouble believing, yeah, it was just a crazy guy that shot three people. I think they'd probably say that on Fox News or something. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe Fox News would say it. Maybe Sean Hannity would say it. But no one else would be saying it. In fact, people would be making fun of them for fucking saying it. His hate drove him to kill these people. Now, you want to say it's not based on religion. The fact that they were Muslim. Yeah. I beg to differ. Well, the thing is, there's no evidence one way or the other. Yeah, when there's evidence, I mean, know, like, sure. Let's but. base our decisions on evidence, not just your gut fucking feeling. I mean, he, he said this is, is, is his opinion, but unless there's some sort of evidence for that, it's just based on just your I emotional mean, reaction. I cannot 100% say that it wasn't a hate crime. I cannot 100% say that it was. I don't see how anyone else could. The evidence, there's not enough evidence to make that determination that I've heard or seen released, and I've been following it pretty closely. He's got all over his social media. Negative talk about Christians, negative talk about Muslims. Okay. There you go. What's his That's agenda? Enough. What is what is he trying to get to? Like what's his what's his angle? In in a moment here he's going to say that it's people like TJ cuz TJ's TJ's other channel, uh the Amazing Atheist channel is a pretty popular, you know, atheistic anti-theist channel. 
And I, I believe what, what Tim here is going to do is he's going to attribute people like TJ as part of the problem. Yeah, the new atheist movement. Yeah. That's probably what he's going to say. Yeah, I'm and he does a- and he does mention TJ. Hey, that's enough for me to draw a conclusion. Now, my atheist friends are pissed off. Oh, man. See, they like blaming all of Muslims for when a Muslim does something. No. no but they I do don't. not want you to blame all of atheists when an atheist does something. Okay. We already have, have to, no we already have to have pause religion. again. That's, that's a false equivalency anyway. Because none of that is true. First yeah. of all, atheists do not blame all Muslims when Muslims do something. We just say that maybe the religion of Islam had something to do with them becoming radicalized. Yes. Which I don't think is much of a stretch if you actually read the fucking Quran and the Hadith and study Sharia law and see what the laws are like in uh, many Muslim countries. Um, But, I mean, the thing is, like, okay, if you want to talk about an equivalency, uh, where is the atheist version of ISIS you know, where, where's the atheist dog? Where's the where's the atheists that are beheading people and fucking lifting their heads and saying this is what happens to fucking believers? You know, like it doesn't happen. You have an incident where one guy murdered three people. The motives are not clear. It could have been motivated by Islamophobia, but we don't really know that. Uh, there's no evidence to suggest that there's there was if you read through his Facebook he doesn't say that he hates Muslims or anything in fact he was a supporter of the Ground Zero Mosque uh, the so-called Ground Zero Mosque that wasn't at Ground Zero no yeah. but I mean that's what it got labeled in the it was like a media. few New York City yeah, blocks fo- away yeah the Fox News I mean this people is this is a guy who fucking was that. like if you look at his page likes he liked like Rachel Maddow and shit Bill Maher this is a yeah. very like left-leaning progressive liberal guy so I seriously doubt he's harboring this intense hatred of Muslims someone please tell the amazing atheist that you know what I mean. Bill Maher, tell Bill Maher that. TJ's going to like I put his name in there with Bill Maher. Gives him credibility. How is it well, Bill Maher's fault? I'm so confused right now. Yeah. I can't even follow this. Like I'm trying to use rationality to figure out what the <laughs> hell is going. And I'm like, it's just, it's all over the place. This it's just like, scary. well, the problem is it's just like a cascade of erroneous statements. Yeah, and, and <laughs> honestly, like we... We've had we've had problems with Tim in the past, but we like Tim and we've had him on a few times and we've gotten along with him. But I, I don't I don't really know what he's talking about. Yeah, at I this was, point. I mean, it just seems like false premise after yeah, false it, premise very, after false nebulous. premise. There's uh, no like if it was just like there's here, no common thread is what you're saying. I'm not even saying there's no common thread. I'm just saying like the common thread is like every aspect of this video can be torn apart. Like we literally have to pause it every few seconds to say like that's also wrong. We'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll move on to like actual news after this. Okay. So wear it, fuck it. Wear the fucking jacket of guilt. Okay. Because you're part of the problem. The jacket of guilt. Your radical Ooh. preachings of no preaching. A jacket of guilt. Is that kind of like those eight ball jackets that people used to wear? I was I was day? imagining a pretty count. suave fucking jacket, you know? <laughs> like, oh, sweet. like like gold and crusty. Yeah, you like know, velvet. like yeah. Velvet and sequins and shit. It's all shiny. <laughs> yeah. Is this yeah, a Las like, Vegas act? Seventies music starts playing. A fucking mirrored ball falls from the ceiling. Tigers start coming around, out, dancing around. You know, every chorus line, and all that. You can't tell by the way I'm walking. <laughs> okay, no now, time. now we're singing Bee Gees at this point. Yeah. I, the show has reached a it new low. It has gone too yeah. far. Yeah, just go on the show. This show sucks. Yeah, the Bee Gees. Come on. The day the drunken peasants jumped the fucking the day shark. The drunken peasants died. Oh, no, according to that one guy that we had on the last show, that was uh, when we said that vaccines are are safe, you know, safe and, and actually help autism. people. Yeah, nonsense. Of, yeah, of hate for religion <laughs> can make a nut job do this. But you know what? I don't like the term nut job as it concerns this guy. You know why? We can call him a scumbag. Let's not call him a nut job. Cause see, that's what they want to do. They always make these white guys seem like they're crazy. White guys know how to play it up, too, like the guy who shut up the movie theater. I'm pretty sure that guy actually was crazy. He looked looked pretty crazy. I believe he was diagnosable. Didn't he say he was the Joker when he got arrested? The The Illuminati are always got their fingers in a lot of fucking pies. They got their fingers in everything. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes the whole fist. Why is it that they get to claim crazy all the damn time? 
All right, that's enough of this. Okay, we'll move on. But uh, anything you want to say to Tim, because I'm sure he'll see this. Nah. No? <laughs> okay. I said it all. We, all we right. disagree with him. That's I don't, I don't. I don't. I think his video is crappy and the premises suck. Yeah. And it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It's actually confusing to our guest. So. I think we're all. I think we're all confused. Yeah, I think My everyone here is confused. Can't handle it. Well, it's not even. It's not even that. It's just like he. He's. It, it's. He's not explaining this very well at all. It if he. Make any he sense. If he even has a point, it's like lost somewhere in. The well, I can't. In the wind is he, or I mean, is he talking about like white guys are privileged, so when there's crazy white guys, they get away more with doing things. I think that's yeah. where he's trying to go with it, but it's it doesn't work. He needs a better example. Yeah, yeah. I would that say, I would say he probably. I would say the statement. It's probably not even. It's really just not true. So he probably doesn't need any example. He probably just needs to. <laughs> Does it exist? <laughs> So confused. Do do you want to do uh, the the one where Adam Kokesh gets? Sure. Okay. Oh yeah, that sounds good. All right. So Adam Kokesh was on uh, Doctor Drew's show on Headline News, and they end up cutting his mic because they didn't like what he was saying. And we we disagree with a lot of things Adam Kokesh says, sure. but uh, you know I, why, why invite him on a show then cut the mic? Right. <clears throat> Freedom. Yeah, so this is from Adams. We ended the conversation, and it turns out that was the last time that Drew spoke. So it was just a really emotional kind of testimony that she gave. Oh, so tragic. Martin, thank you so much for that report. Let's bring in our Behavior Bureau, Jesse Jane Duff, Gunnery Sergeant, U.S. Marine Corps, Let's retired senior fellow with the end. London Center for Policy. I didn't respond emotionally. I did respond rationally. I did join for pride, and you didn't include that in your statement. So just keep that in mind. With this said about PTSD, again, 7.7 .7 million Americans have PTSD. It is not just isolated to the military. And with this said, this man, Ruth, also has been identified to have psychiatric issues, probably completely separate from PTSD. And I hope it is identified. But in order for him to uh, get... When they're talking about Ruth, they're talking about the guy that shot the american yeah. sniper yes yeah uh, mercedes have you have you seen the movie american sniper or know anything about no. the, the backstory no. uh, yeah uh apparently well it's it's based on a true story about a guy who was a sniper during the iraq war and then uh he was actually murdered at a gun range in texas or something like that yeah, yeah something like by that. someone with ptsd yeah yeah a and, veteran with ptsd I and believe. uh the the guy who's uh, being interviewed here, Adam Kokesh, he was also an Iraq War veteran, and uh, he's he's very critical of a lot of. He's very anti-war, and uh, there he's going to criticize the actual guy who's being propped up as like a hero now. He's also kind of a lunatic, but I don't know if that comes Adam into Kokesh. Play. Yes, I would say. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we we'd like to have him on though. Sure. Sometime. Oh, he won't he won't object to me calling him a lunatic. Yeah, he would he would disagree, <laughs> but I don't think he would care off due to insanity he's going to have to demonstrate that he didn't know the difference because the state of texas is very clear about yeah. that in your insanity okay. claim you have to not know the difference right. and i, I want to show you what he did annalise since you're the attorney i'm going to have you respond to this after the shootings ralph stole chris kyle's truck confessed to his sister who then called 911. when the police came he led them on a brief chase before surrendering and confessing <laughs> he seemed to know he'd done something wrong on in, and took multiple actions in response to understand that the rest of us perceived he had done something wrong. I think that definitely the prosecution is going to hit on that. But we, what we're really going to target, what we're going to look at is what was his state of mind when the murder happened, when the crime happened. How would you know now, that? Now, the prosecutor is going to look at this and say, well, look at everything he did afterwards. And this is fair <clears throat> game. It's fair game in Texas. They can say, uh, did he flee the scene? He might have fled the scene. We know that he left. Does, did he leave because he was scared or because he was done with his uh, his firing range time? I mean, he he might have just <laughs> left. And did he um, evade the cops? Just well, shot him and then casually to left. He went to like, his oh, time for house lunch. and was talking about uh, the voices and someone speaking to his soul and he can smell the pigs and just crazy talk and then he confessed to the murder Where's so i think that if you look at all those pieces i think it buttresses the argument that he was not in in the right mindset that he did not know right for wrong and that when he went I, to his I, sister's I, house I, he was talking about i the think fact you're doing a disservice and at least to people who have mental illness who people who have ptsd because they don't go around killing people and then they don't run away from them. if they really yeah. think that the devil's after them they talk about the devil being after all them right. but it's 
Let Kokesh say something. Yeah, I know. It, I, I, I hate it when they have these huge panels. Yeah. And, Just you have know, one person I mean, on, or maybe it's, two. It's different with, for us when we have a three-hour show, like everyone gets to talk. But when you're doing like a five-minute segment like this and you have four people talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Not a lot of time for anyone to really get any yeah. sort of thoughts yeah, and, across. And, well, TJ, when you were on CNN, I'm sure you noticed that, too. It was like, what, like a panel of like six people? Um, I think it was talking... I was talking with two Christians and the host. So it was three, it was three people. I yeah. mean, like it was four people if you include the host. And uh, you know that you know it's like you, you you prepare for that for like a day where you're sitting there like oh yeah I'm gonna be on CNN I'm gonna better fucking think of what I'm gonna say and all this shit and then you know you go on there and you're on for like you know two or three minutes and you're like oh okay well yeah I didn't get to say mo I didn't get to say but like you know uh, about a fraction of a percent of what I wanted to but somebody they killed the devil in somebody else they did a good thing. They don't run away from the police. They, they, then when they and when they come to and realize they've done something, sometimes they'll tear their hair out, realizing that they were were distorted. He did none of those things. Showed no remorse, but fled. Absolutely. Jesse. But, he, but his psychotic episode also, may have he, actually he, he, been been over by that point in time. You look at when. Not what you just described the voices. Happened. The voices. Why is he even the there? He's not even let him talk. You to agree with me when someone's he hearing also, voices. Let's just get to the point. Huh. The part where his blah 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 blah. It's like okay, well, what? what are we... Yeah, like does he get to talk at some point? Okay, here yeah, we go. Yeah, he's. I'll get to the beginning of it. Here we go. All right. Veterans with PTSD when I got back from Iraq. And when you go through the military experience, you go through combat, you come home and you're really confused about what's right or wrong because politicians and commanders have been filling your head with mm -hmm. lies. And so dealing with PTSD positively oh through talk goodness. therapy in increases a sense of, of right and wrong. It's a great discovery process for a lot of people. And I would say that most veterans who come home and deal with their PTSD in a rational way by talking it out and getting in touch with their experiences, right, coming well, face to face with it, the crimes they committed, right. the moral transgressions, it, yeah. they get a better Better sense of it's right a little more complicated than that, but you're, you're right to some extent. Jesse, I want to give you the <laughs> it's last It's a little more complicated than that. Say, what are you talking about? Way. His position is more complicated than yours. You're, you guys are the ones with this like simpleton position of like, he was a hero, and that's that. And it's like, I'm trying to inject nuance into this. Oh, uh, it's a little more complicated than that, buddy. It's like, what? That doesn't make sense. It's almost a non sequitur. You're garbage, TJ. You're <laughs> garbage. You know nothing. I, I, I don't like people flying planes into buildings, and I'm grateful that people go out there and help defend us, whether we do it the right way or the wrong way. Oh, go true. suck either. America's oh, dick. No, 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 Watch you wave argument. your American flag now. Oh, I love America. You should just shove an American uh, flag up your fucking ass. <laughs> he should. Hey, that, I'm, so, I'm a patriot. You know, that, that should people be fly next. planes into buildings, and that I'm glad be that someone can stop them. <laughs> They're be. heroes, and you... You're a bad person. Even though you were one of the heroes that people I say are heroes, I'm not going to actually listen to you or respect you. I'm just going to be an asshole because, you know, fuck you. <laughs> but if, if you didn't disagree with me, you'd be a hero. You know? It's our turn. It's our turn. Yeah. I'm going to hold you. Turn his mic off. Turn his mic off. Jesse, I want to give you a chance to say the it's, final word here. My, uh, not that I want, not that, wait, 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 not that Jesse, not that I wouldn't want to hear from Adam, it's just I don't have time. And I want yeah, to say sure. I'm grateful that people are Whatever, out there. Cunt. I don't know if it's right or wrong, how they do it, or when they do it, or who chooses to do cunt, it. I'm just grateful cunt, cunt, you uh, well, are a cunt. I'm not a politician. Okay. Last word. That yeah. guy's a cunt. Oh, Dr. Cunt Drew. Mike. Oh, Dr. Just Drew. because of time constraints. Dr. Drew is a big, fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But did you know? We decided I was the one who was allowed to call people. Oh, well, he's matriarchy. TJ's taking it back. I, I'm a big fat cunt too, so I can say it. <laughs> I, you know what? For once, I agree with you, TJ. Yep. <laughs> it's it's the it's it's the it's the only 100 percent correct thing TJ's ever said. Yes. Yep. In the history of our show, yep, we've been doing indeed. it for a year now. So, let's see here. That's some censorship right there. Yep. I love that. It's like America or freedom. Censor his mic. Right. Cut that. that. Cut <laughs> that asshole's mic. And, and that guy is a war veteran. Right. So I mean, by his own what does logic. He know? The, you he's, know. He's okay. A so war wait. Veteran, the way I'm it's, a war it's, veteran. it's it's kind <laughs> of a, it's kind of amazing, because he's saying like these troops go and fight for our freedom, and yet he's taking away the freedom of a troop to express himself. It's kind of beautiful in a fucked up way. <laughs> Doc. It's the same thing as when feminists tell me I'm not being a woman right. It's like Dr. Drew said you're not being a soldier right. Yep. Drew's mic off. Shut up.
Quiet, you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, here's a here's a news story out of uh, it says Oklahoma County. I don't know if that's in the state of Oklahoma or Istanbul. not. Istanbul. We'll play. Istanbul. Well, called a 911 reveals more Hot than bust. what police expected. They were called to investigate gunfire near an <clears throat> Oklahoma County home. When they showed up, they didn't find a gun, but they discovered a whole lot more. News Mama 9 contractor Jolene Cheney is live downtown with this one. Jolene. Uh, Kelly, this sure was a bizarre call that brought out the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Department and the Oklahoma Poli uh, City. You could tell she's more concerned about her hair like, blowing she, in the wind right now than oh, she is oh, about oh, what she's shit. actually saying. <laughs> she's Sometimes like, when I see stuff like this, I'm like, oh, I could have been a newscaster instead of yeah. a porn star. <laughs> oh my god! Like things are happening here at this time. <laughs> well, my, how's my hair? Oh my god, my hair is horrible. She's also oh, holding her phone. Cancel this segment. If She's you, taking selfies at the if same If you get time. into the newscasting business, then you can run for vice president, just like Sarah Palin did. Yeah. It's, it's like a stepping stone like That's that. smart. <laughs> Police department, and in the end, it sent one man here to the Oklahoma County Jail. His name. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> ah, Look. this wow. Awesome. John Michael. I saw... I'm not at all surprised. That dude's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Circling around very low. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at, his, look at his staff. You know, he lives by his own rules. That's, and you a, gotta respect that's actually that. a bong. He's off the grid. <laughs> off the grid, man. Week, they, they were doing the same thing because I was laying out nude. I thought they were looking at me. <laughs> this time around, though, he was sporting his underwear over a pair of women's leggings. If life gives you lemons, fuck life. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> life gives you lemons. Fuck, fuck life. life. <laughs> that's going to be my new motto. We need that on a shirt. Yeah, that's yes. a shirt. We, we yeah. need that. That needs to be the next drunk of peasant shirt is that guy and then that phrase and then we make the money. <laughs> <laughs> and then we make the money. And then we get all some money. You know, but his landlord gave Oklahoma County authorities more than lemons when they showed up out here. When they walked into the house, they smelled a very strong uh, odor associated with marijuana. Oh, no. They found 50 marijuana plants and several bags of pot that had already been processed. Oh, man. Give me Police that. Police got a call after someone said they heard gunshots. Turns out those gunshots weren't really gunshots. Sir John Michael was working on his car, and he got a little aggravated. I was working on my car this morning. <laughs> and it didn't work. The, it's funny because, you know, they set up this interview more than likely. And he's like, what am I going to wear for my big yeah. interview today? <laughs> I need my my power stick. Well, he apparently too. usually just lays around naked. So <laughs> it's, like, it's like a paleo costume, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right? He's like when he's. When he's talking about his car, I, I thought I thought he would just have like a Flintstones car where he just you know, uses his feet to to go and break, yeah, to move forward and break. Well, I got frustrated, busted my window, and that was supposedly a gunshot. He says before he knew it, once again a police helicopter was flying over his place. I guess they called backup. I heard some sirens, and uh, through the forest to the west. <laughs> Uh, like a half a dozen guys with their guns drawn on me said, put down the gun. And I was twirling my ponytail. <laughs> Sir John <laughs> Michael. <laughs> That's what I do a put lot. Put down the gun. Oh, Ben, put down the gun. Yeah, twirling my ponytail. Oh, my God, Ben's arm. You don't yeah. actually have to do it. You're not on camera. I know. And thought, his ponytail were soon on the ground. Sir John doesn't actually live inside the home where deputies found the marijuana. He lives in a school bus nearby. Awesome. And that's another I'm not surprised. Story. It happens to be my mother. I won't name any names and my ex-wife. It happens to be my mother, but I won't name any names. It's like, yeah, okay. We, we, we know your name, yeah. so yeah. Uh, figuring out who your mother is would really not be that difficult. <laughs> Why I live out here. His landlord, David Mason, was taken into police custody, and so was his marijuana. I don't think that's an issue. I think cannabis should be legal, but... And Sir John Michael says he's going to bond Mason out of jail. Live uh, in downtown Oklahoma City, Jolene Cheney, News 9. Yeah, so it looks like his Another landlord Another criminal. Went to jail. Another criminal yeah, no. off the streets. Yep. I feel safer. <laughs> We all feel safe now. I feel like I think we, should, we should inspect that evidence, too, to make sure it's really Thank marijuana. God the police got that life-ruining drug off our streets where our children can't be exposed to it. 
<laughs> I kind of like that guy. I, I really like his staff. I mean, he put effort. I mean, it, did you see it had like an arrowhead or a crystal? Yeah. yeah. I was like, that was some effort. That's not like a, you know, a haphazard staff. That's like, no. Real deal. And I have yeah. to wonder, you, you know, he, he made it's sure legit. to be holding the staff while he was being interviewed. He wanted too. people to see it. Right. He wanted people to know. <laughs> He's like, check it out. Look, Look what I got, bad. bitch. <laughs> but he was cool. I like him. Actually. Look how big my staff is. Yeah. We may have a mansion, but I have a staff. <laughs> All right, so we'll play the next one here. Let's see. There was a student at a Florida high school who was in trouble for simply saying, God bless America, during the school's morning oh, announcements. I'm Two atheist right. students from Yulee High School Some emailed the atheist. American Humanist you Association. Know, um, I actually, I, I don't know if this is the same incident, I believe it is, but I read an article that said that Fox News like totally botched this story and yeah. like... This is not even true. Right, right. They eat this kind of shit up. So, I mean, they'll they'll take a story like this and run with it without even really looking Christians into it. Christians love to have, like, the persecution story. Like, we're just trying to be good Christians, and they came after us for no reason. Evil atheists, go away. And they have their, you know... Stop hurting me, atheists. Their uh, blonde anchor woman. I, I saw someone... They, they took all the f female Fox News anchors and put them all, like, in, like, a... Uh -huh. a Oh, yeah. Was, yeah, they, they, the same woman. yeah, yeah, they all look the same, like in one picture. They're all and that group fired Jesuit back with clones. a letter saying, quote, God bless America, affirms God belief, validates a theistic worldview, and is invidious towards atheists and other non-believers. Well, the school then apologizing, saying, quote, that that statement, including God bless America, was not approved by the school's administration, nor is it in the scripted announcements. Well, the student said it simply on his own accord. The student has been told not to say those offending words again. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. If people take it too far on both sides. Like, you know... Someone wants to say God. Like people have told me, "God bless you." I'm like, cool. Like if there's an imaginary dude in the sky, that'd be rad. Yeah, but if I'm like, not, like, oh well. I, I'm, who cares? I, I'm like, I'm like one of the fucking. I pretty much am like the biggest like account on YouTube that's just like associated with atheism. And I would never give a shit if someone said, God bless you, right. if I sneeze. Right. Well, I've never known an atheist that would care. Well, Fox News creates this false idea that that we do care about it. Like, like we're pissed. Like, we're trying to wage war on Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if someone says <laughs> if someone says Merry Christmas to me, I'm not offended. I'm literally not Fuck offended. Fuck you, no, asshole. And we'll go all Hulk on your ass. He'll body slam you and beat you up. Like, don't oh, say those words Can't me. believe you would say that to me. That's a I'm fit. angered. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. No, but, Here. but America, no, you you are you're you're ruining the fabric that our founding fathers created for us with axes and cherry trees and shit. Yeah, Ew. our founding fathers. Cannot tell a lie. Jesus and Moses, <laughs> our founding fathers of America. I'll actually say that they are our founding fathers, <laughs> Jesus, Moses, and like, like George Washington. Yeah, like they're all hanging out. <laughs> and, Tunnel and up, guys. We gotta figure this shit out. <laughs> They were they were riding dinosaurs. A T Rex wearing America. a sombrero and passing around nacho cheese dip to all the children. <laughs> I, I totally want to live in that time. Times were better then. Uh, he, here's a story about a principal until the dark times. Uh, a principal of a school for mentally ill children. Mm -hmm. uh, she like flipped out and started verbally abusing them. Oh wow! Yeah. So, he recorded her. Our investigative reporter Jim Hopper is here with his exclusive report. Jim? We must warn you that the language you are about to hear is harsh, even disturbing. Oh, Diatribes. No. No. Okay, Bad guys. Words. I'm words. sorry. We can't play yeah, this never story mind. Cut now. Cut the story. Oh, yeah. Words are... Words that might be upsetting are going to happen. Ah, run, run, run. Uh, targeted at children with special needs, not by another student nor by a teacher, but by the school's leader, its principal. Do you have a second to talk to us? Principal Kimberly Taylor cowered in her car rather than answer <laughs> our questions coward, like about coward. the way she treats the K through 8th graders at this school for special needs students. Their website touts a positive learning environment for Hilltop students. But that's a lie! ...comes across as a dedicated educator. Apparently it is. Students are in classes more, they're engaged more, there's more hands-on activities. Don't Okay, so so that's her, and they're about to play the, the, All right, the now recording. Let's, let's of her. Hear, let's, 
Let's hear yeah. the other side of yeah. her personality. Kimberly Taylor. <laughs> the audio recording we obtained appears to capture another side of the principal threatening and cursing the children to behave during graduation ceremonies. I will embarrass you. You all know me. If you don't give a sh either will I. Either will I. Everyone knows this school is for kids that have behavior problems. So it would be a normal thing if we drag you down and pull you out. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Send in the SWAT team. Get on the ground. Everyone man. knows that you're a bunch of retards. So you know, before before the story started, I'm like, well, you know, she probably just had like a moment, and they are taking it like out of context or whatever, making a big deal. But after hearing that, you know, it seems like that's pretty much just her mentality. Oh, it's yeah. like, you know, everyone knows you're a bunch of fuck ups, so I could do whatever I want to you. That's obviously her motive. Miserable sacks of shit. My question is, does she not realize she lives in, like, the 21st century and people can carry around recording devices, like, in their pockets and shit, and at any time can record what she's saying? I mean, like, how would that not even occur to her? Just, I mean, like, maybe she belongs in the special school because, you know, most people have a realization that if you continuously, you know engage in some sort of behavior you're not supposed to be publicly and think you're just going to get away with it indefinitely. I mean, like, you're someone's going to call you part. on your shit eventually. Grab kids, push kids. I've seen her throw kids. Former Hilltop teacher's aide, Kenneth Egan, says he recorded Principal Taylor after the administration... What's up with the fucking music? Seriously. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I was grooving Generic to Generic music. I was, the elevator, there's a story. I, yeah. I found the I found the music pretty moving, Ben. You know, <laughs> she actually owns that soundtrack. Complaints about what he saw as constant bullying of the children. These kids are going home and thinking to themselves, she got to the top being a bully and talking to adults and her teachers like this and bullying the kids like this. So you know what? That's Fuck this bitch. Have. The worst he yeah, says was when the saying. principal became unhinged after two students got into a scuffle during a graduation rehearsal. <laughs> Egan says, <laughs> "Wow, <laughs> she has like no composure. She's a fucking she's a, lunatic. No, she's Un like a decibel, and like dogs can hear half the time. <laughs> Unfucking hinged." <laughs> she then dragged one of the kids up to the front of the auditorium, filled with students of various learning disabilities. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she needs to be a principal anymore. Right. That's pretty oh. clear. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but Kimberly Taylor is a woman. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. And uh, to say that she should lose her job is really misogynistic. Oh, I'll okay. say it then. Yeah, no, she's a cunt who should lose her job. No, even if you no, say, because you're, you're not, you're only like one fourth of a woman because you're involved <laughs> with that Gamergate shit, you know? And porn. And porn. So you know, so you've lost a lot of woman points, and you don't. <laughs> she outranks you. You're she. Look, she's a respectable school principal. You're just some porn star. So obviously, so yeah, yeah, you know nothing. She right knows. Now. She knows better than you. She's a better person. Society says so. She's a principal. How it, can you deny this, that? These audio recordings are probably doctored to make her look bad. <laughs> Get the hell out of my sight. On another recording, Principal Taylor rips into a student for failing to give his seat to a teacher. Get your ass up. Be a man. God, for God's sake, you animals, some of you. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Does she, is she, she doesn't a, hold back, really. Is she a principal or is she a prison warden? I mean, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> I wonder if you can buy favors, like with cigarettes, for butt sex. <laughs> do you regret complaining? I do not. Just weeks before he was to gain tenure, Kenneth Egan was fired. The only thing that I regret is not stopping it the second that it happened. You know, we have audio of you cursing and screaming at some of the children. When we caught <laughs> up with the principal, <laughs> she had nothing to say. Principal Taylor, can you talk to us about this? Do you often scream Excuse and yell me. at the children? Excuse me, you cannot. Wow, she's surprisingly quiet now. Yeah. I don't know. You cannot be Where's here. that temper? It's like yeah. they're not going in the school. It's almost, it's almost like when you're faced with people with equal social footing, you just kind of become a cowardly bitch. Huh. Mm. Very strange. 
That's amazing. Yeah, when you ha- yet when you have power over people, you're a totally fucking domineering cunt. That's interesting. It's really fascinating how that happens. I wonder why. I wonder what causes those transformations. This needs more study. Not be here. Meanwhile, be Kenneth here. Egan's attorney says they're suing to get his client's job back and to get Principal you, Taylor you out. The fact that nothing was done, that she's still on the job, and Mr. Egan, who only tried to bring this to the attention of the higher-ups, that he gets fired for it. I think that's an outrage. Yep. The district superintendent had declined tenure, to then. comment on the audio recording, but in a statement <laughs> told us it was a personnel matter that was addressed when it happened three years ago. Dr. Marcico adds that Hilltop has an outstanding academic program. Yeah. It's very outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> what is a cop out? That, that happened a long time ago. It's been addressed. Uh, we're good. It's fine. The next story we have here, a Republican lawmaker uh, in Tennessee wants to make the Bible the official book of the state of Tennessee. Finally. Yep. Why does a state <laughs> why does a state need an official book anyway? <laughs> I don't know Jesus. of any other state that. Ha- yeah. Jesus. Come on, TJ. OK, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> We live in a Christian nation, TJ. Come on. Christian nation. Having a state flower or a state song isn't uncommon. Right. However, what one Republican lawmaker is proposing for Tennessee might just surprise you. New at 630, Shannon Royster takes a closer look at a measure some say goes against the Constitution. You know, nah. some say. This is some ten- crazies. This is Tennessee, so if they're going to make a state book, shouldn't it be something easy like... One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, or something. Or like the little <laughs> engine that could. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know. A I book think I can. I think I can. A book that most Tennesseans can actually read. That'd be a good well, one. Well, that'd have to be a picture book then. Yeah, a picture or movie. Maybe. Yeah, just they play make, a movie. Make RoboCop <laughs> the official movie of Tennessee. Oh, hell yeah. RoboCop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tennessee, there are several recognized state it's a pretty symbols. Good movie. The tulip poplar is makes the about state as much tree. sense as the Bible. The tomato is the state fruit, and the cave salamander is the state amphibian. But okay, if state cool. representative, wait, there's state amphibians? Yeah, they have a state amphibian. Why do we need a state everything? Why did? Why does your state need all this fucking flair? <laughs> like, it's like a state pride thing. Most states don't like give a shit, but some of them are like, our state's great. You know, like Texas. That's a good example. No one like any. No one should think the place they live is great. That's my opinion. Everyone should just be perpetually dissatisfied with most things. <laughs> Jerry Sexton has his. Wo- they, couldn't they like have cut the Bible like the corners off of this fucking image? Even I could do that. <laughs> I know it's like they're fucking, really busy, TJ. Fucking cut it out. It's not even hard. You could just use the selection tool for most of it. The only part you'd even need to use a brush for is the Photoshop fucking... Photoshop lessons. Well, I mean, look at it. <laughs> fucking look at it. The Bible. They're a fucking news organization. It's like, it's like they, they, they Googled, like, Holy Bible, and that was the first result, and they just put it on the screen. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, zero effort. It's horrible. It's hideous. Well, it says Tennessee. It's costly. Wait. The Holy Bible will be added to the list okay. as the official state book. Neat. If you look at the Bible, it's well, the number one selling book. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> why? That's the that's the <laughs> lamest. That's don't they give it to you for, how do they sell it? Yeah, yeah. I don't, they they hand them out everywhere you go, and you see <laughs> total <creature>. ar- <laughs> a total like argument from you can, away. you can download it on your fucking phone. <laughs> Harry Potter's a really popular book too. You that's, know. You know, that that's... <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy was the biggest movie last year, so you guys should make that your official state movie. I'm guessing they would want Passion of the Christ or something like that. Or, you know, I guess it should be Avatar, since that's the highest grossing movie of all time. But Avatar is... Inflation, the, though. Yeah. It's Avatar is... Inflation, the, it's Gone with the Wind. Oh, so Gone with the Wind, then. Yes, that has to be the top movie. Doesn't of matter. all time. Uh, year after year. And so it plays a, you know, a very important role in in our country, so, in the lives of our people. Did that guy walk out of, like, 1987? Yes. He's a Republican <laughs> politician. You know who he looks like to me? This is a very obscure reference, maybe, but it's a pretty famous movie. You know the guy, like, this fat security guard in Terminator 2 that gets killed yeah. by the fucking... Uh, yeah, I do. Scotty knows what I'm talking about. Anyone else who actually knows what I'm talking about, that guy that looks like him. The guy That's that was on screen the, a moment the ago. The Illuminati uses characters in movies. It's yeah, they reuse the same actors over and over, yeah, over again and over. for all their little tricks. Yep. 
But people we talk to say the First Amendment is important too. Separation of church and state in general is ah, liberal. Communism. Damn liberal. Communism. Uh, kind of fundamental. Sexton says this has nothing to oh do with Oh my God, that's even you know, worse. It's like uh, some of our state songs, we're not required to sing them, uh, but it just recognizes it as that. And so, what is the state what? song of Tennessee? My <laughs> wife. I think the state song of Tennessee is "My wife is dead, so I started fucking my kids." It's a oh country song. Oh shit! <laughs> I think Garth Brooks I, I, sings I, I, it, or was it George Strait? I thought it was like. Maybe it was Waylon Jennings. It was Waylon Jennings. That's oh, who sang shit. that. <laughs> Ed Rubin, Vanderbilt University. All right, pause. I okay, I stole that joke from David Cross, but it was oh. too perfect. Yeah, you had to admit it. Yeah, now, but the before same, people yeah. call before you people on call it. me on it. There was yeah. people, people waiting to type that comment, like, "Oh, oh, damn it." Yep. Of law and political science disagrees and says so would the federal courts. There is no question that declaring the Bible to be an official book of the state of Tennessee would violate the First Amendment and would be struck oh. down as an effort to establish a religion. Not everybody no. believes in the same text that he does, so you can't, I think it's a little bit uh, outlandish to I don't say you should Liberal. be guided by a text that Hippie. you don't even agree with. I don't know anything. He's a liar. I don't think a state should be codifying an ideology that is separate from the law. Don't you like how they try to shoehorn it in? Like, we got an official, like, state fish. Why not a state book? It's like, okay, well... <laughs> Uh, it's kind of different. Like a fish, do a fish doesn't come with any ideological baggage. How do you know? Oh, that's true. It, maybe if they call it like a work of fiction, if it's like this is all work of fiction, so the Bible's included. Like, oh, okay, well I can see that then. However, everyone can agree that it would bring about discussion. Definitely bring out some heated opinions from both sides. Conversation about everything's good. So. Oh, there you go, right there. Why didn't they just use that? Yeah. Bible yeah. picture the whole time. There you go. You fucking did it. Holy shit. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> shitty fucking news story from Tennessee. You did it. Like I would expect, you know, we're we're kind of we kind of operate on the fly here. So no I, way. I I would understand if we had done something like that, but this sure. is like a professional news broadcast here. Yeah. Ah. And they suck. Yeah. Um, especially this. Only in two other states has a bill ever been proposed to make the Bible its official book. That was in Louisiana and Mississippi. Yep. However, both measures failed. Shannon Royster, News Channel 5, HD. Official. So, why are there so many news women with that exact same voice? I, I think I think they're trained Is to it like do just that. A, yeah, they got but, I mean, school for it. They got they, they teach them how to ta all talk exactly yeah. alike. It's pretty that's pretty creepy. If honestly. you notice when when you watch Family Guy oh, and and they're watching the the news, they do like an exaggerated version of that. Yeah. Yeah. Asian reporter uh, Trisha Takanawa or whatever. I don't watch is. The Family Guy because I'm more sophisticated. Well, it's also satanic. I watch more intelligent television shows, Ben. Oh, like Kitchen Nightmares? Yes. <laughs> What's Kitchen Nightmares? Is that like where they redo a kitchen? Uh, what, uh, they, they go to a shitty restaurant that's like about to go out of business and Chef Ramsay, a world famous chef, comes in, tastes the food and it tastes like shit. And then oh, he I like, like that guy. He also yeah. Like right? Right? Yeah, he yes. Yeah. What, what it is, he, he goes to these restaurants that are, like, shitty and poorly run, and then he just, like, mocks the people until they cry, and then he... <laughs> In the American version, they cry. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, Chef Ramsey. My family's been divided. Yep. <laughs> and, then he, and then within, like, three or four days, he magically fixes all their problems and everything's fine. He becomes, That's like, good. he becomes not only a chef, but, like, a psychologist for yeah. these people. He's like, Jesus, he just works miracles. He shows up. <laughs> Everything's fucked up at the end. Everyone, the, like, the, like the kid in the wheelchair walks, you know, the restaurant's making tons of money and everything's fine. <laughs> it's so great. Did, did they put him up on a cross afterwards? Jesus. <laughs> We're going to move. Gordon Ramsay is Jesus. He is. <laughs> We're going to move on. Yes, uh, anti-vaccine doctor under investigation. <gasps> Surprise. As we wait outside the office of Dr. Jack Wolfson, it's not the doctor, but police who show up. So many calls into a suspicious vehicle, so obviously you got something going on. We're here to talk to Dr. Wolfson, who's ignored an email request and multiple phone calls. It's a sudden about face. He isn't interested in talking anymore. And this is public property. Nobody's asked you to leave. I'm not being told to ask you to leave, so you're welcome to be here. Thank you. Bye. 
Seconds later, we follow the officer. Hi, good morning, doctor. Over to Dr. Hey. Wolfson, whose office had apparently called the police. Uh, can we just talk about the investigation that's I, been opened I have, I have by no the Arizona comments. Medical Board, the Thank State you. Medical Board? Are you changing your... So, so he's a doctor that's anti-vaccination. Uh -huh. Isn't yeah. that malpractice? That's, I mean, that's probably why he's under investigation. I see. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. Ex I don't know why he's under investigation. Yeah, I, have, I haven't no followed the story, but I notice he's a cardiologist. That's not really. How does one fit with the other? Like cardiology and anti vaccines. Yeah, yeah, like cardiologists don't even typically deal with vaccines unless I'm very mistaken about their profession. I don't know. Yeah, that's well, a lot usually of those anti vaccine people are like you know it's like he's a chiropractor and he's here to tell you everything about your immune system. <laughs> <you know? laughs> exactly. Yeah, he, energy. I'm a <laughs> reflexologist, and you I need to take more vitamins to cure your cancer. I do acupuncture, and I'm against vaccines. Chinese medicine, yeah. It's okay to stick needles in you only when they don't have vaccines behind them. <laughs> Good, yeah. These are bad. Just pointlessly sticking needle needles in your body is okay, but something that actually has medicine in it that's dangerous. Don't opinion trust about that. vaccination, sir. He won't answer. A very well, different Dr. Wolfson from last week, who, as a cardiologist, spoke to CNN's Elizabeth Cohen about why people should not vaccinate. Could you live with yourself if your child got another child sick? I mean, really sick, had complications, even death. I could live with myself uh, very easily. It's a very unfortunate thing that people die, but unfortunately, people die. And I'm not going to put my child at risk to save another child. I'm not going to sacrifice uh, uh, the, the well-being of my child. My child is pure. Dr. Wolfson followed uh, that child. Uh, my child is, is a beautiful little angel. He's probably an indigo child from the Crystal Galaxy, too. <laughs> yeah. Special magical powers. Dawning of the age of Let's Aquarius. Let's put these healing crystals on your forehead. That's better than a vaccine. <laughs> the cancer's going away. The measles are cured. Oh, uh, I got a hemorrhoid. Okay, well, we just got to put the healing crystal up your ass then. All right. <laughs> ah. Why is this crystal so big? Quiet. That's TJ's next video. TJ's yeah. next leaked video. Healing crystal gate. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to heal my hemorrhoids, guys. Come on. <laughs> I did kind of enjoy Ooh, it, though. Oh, crystal yeah. porn. We're Shit. giving you all kinds of ideas here. Yeah. yeah this going to be great. With numerous interviews with local television stations and national newspapers. Are you changing your opinion about vaccination, sir? So, why no. doesn't why he, he want to opinion? talk anymore? Could it be that he's read the decades of scientific studies showing his position is <laughs> No. <laughs> Probably not. All no. garbage. Is there an investigation going on? You know, um, yeah. CNN is fucking absolute dog shit, but that was actually pretty funny. Yeah. That was really, yeah, <laughs> that was good. good. Yes, there is. Jenna Jones is the executive director with the Arizona Board of Osteopathic Examiners, the state agency that regulates those doctors. We open a complaint file, we investigate it, and then we bring it before the board for resolution. All of our cases are confidential. But we do know two complaints filed with the state board come on the heels of Dr. Wolfson's vocal anti-vaccine interviews and calls by other He's doctors He's being saying suppressed by the establishment. Anti-vaccine doctors are a public health well, Pfizer threat. Doesn't want I you would to like hear. to see them lose their licenses to practice. Dr. Peter... That makes sense to me. Right. I mean, you know... I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess I, I mean, he's a cardiologist, so he doesn't really deal with vaccines. So I don't know if I guess I, I don't know if there's really I, much. I think this gets more credibility because he's an actual doctor. He's not just a quack. But you know what I mean, he he kind of is in a way. But I mean, there are doctors who are anti-vaccine. Sure, of I course. Mean, there's just like there's engineers who are fucking 911 truthers and so on and so forth. You're always going to find someone who's actually an expert that's still going to go against the mainstream scientific opinion. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he should be, but. Remember, he used the word pure. He's like, my son is pure. But like, what does that well, mean? I mean, like, he's a psycho. But he, but he birthed it. I mean, he really brought into this realm a child of, of the special crystal galaxy to impart upon us the knowledge of healing uh, through the crystals. And, you know, if every other child on Earth has to die, then so that's be it. That's, that's just, so you know be what? it. If he dies, he dies. You know? It's, it's I mean, just, yeah, even even though there's a Hippocratic Oath and the guy supposedly went to school for 12 years one to learn of the about unfortunate this, thing. Yeah, it, it happens, you know, you just kind of... Yeah, it's just it. one of those yeah, unfortunate things that unfortunately happens, unfortunately. 
Lipson is a practicing internist and a contributor to Forbes.com, who urged in a column for state medical boards to investigate and pull the licenses of physicians like Dr. Wolfson and two other prominent doctors who support a modified vaccine schedule, California's Dr. Jay Gordon and Dr. Bob Sears. They are doing active harm. As physicians, we are supposed to first do no harm. These doctors are creating harm. They are promoting the spread of infectious diseases, which we should have wiped out by now. This is not only bad behavior, it's dangerous behavior. Whatever, fascist. <clears throat> Let the doctors do what they want. If they think grape jelly can cure cancer, then who are you to argue with them? <laughs> I'm going to stick with my vitamins and all natural healing and positive energy. And juice. Yes. Juice detox, yes. Yep. Doctors Gordon and Sears both declined to speak to CNN on camera for this story. I do but not have publicly facts, continue to say vaccines are a parent's choice, not a matter of public health. Back and... at Dr. Wolf's office, the parking lot is full. His office tells us the schedule is packed with patients searching for their doctor's wise medical advice. Woo. Maybe he's wise when it comes to treating your uh, heart disease. Right, that's what I'm saying. Not vaccines. That's why I'm kind of like reluctant disease. to say that he should be like. Um, I, I know it's not disbarred, but whatever it is, well, I, have his, license, his license, whatever the yeah. medical equivalent is, his medical uh, license. You know, because I, mean, I don't know, I don't know how he is as a cardiologist. So I, I don't, I don't want to deprive people of their doctor just because he's a kook on some other issue. But isn't that scary? I mean, here's somebody who's supposedly a doctor <clears throat> and should adhere to some form of, of critical thinking and he actually used the term pure in relationship to his child and can't My read child. medical and he can't read medical journal documents like uh, evidently i mean this is really basic shit like he's he's on the same side as jenny mccarthy yeah so, his child of, is his child, his child is, is the chosen one though yeah. so i mean <laughs> that's what you know, it's almost we gotta what give he him sounded some, like. we gotta give him some leniency because he yeah. did bring the chosen one to our world yeah so <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. So uh, the next story that we're going to cover involves a nine-year-old who stole some gum, and you know, usually criminal you know, scum. Yeah, a, a nine-year-old. <laughs> how would you do with a nine-year-old that stole gum? You'd probably be like, "Don't do that again." Yeah, that's, that's you know, that's pretty reasonable. tase him, <laughs> tase him. Yeah, I f flay him, flay the flesh from his bones. Yep. <laughs> put him in the stockade and yeah. beat him with whips. Yeah, we'll put we'll him see, in the rack. We'll see what happens here. Well, Steph, there's still a lot about this story that we don't know. I briefly spoke with the Kootenai County prosecuting attorney, Barry uh, McHugh, who issued the arrest warrant. He couldn't comment on the... He couldn't comment. He, he issued an, a, a warrant for a nine-year-old stealing oh gum. He issued an arrest oh, warrant shit. for a nine-year-old who stole gum. What a waste of time. Yep. What a, I mean, like, okay, well, beyond being a waste of time, it's also a huge miscarriage of justice. And it's it's also a waste of of resources. resources. Yes, someone who's less than 18 years old. But the Post Falls Police Department did tell me that the arrest warrant was issued it was because this nine-year-old missed his court date. Officers say they arrested the boy earlier this week. They say the nine-year-old um. and his 15-year-old brother both failed to appear in court and. Uh, the nine-year-old, this was the second time she He's didn't nine. show up. We know for sure that he was appearing for charges of theft. But what exactly was the nine-year-old really charged with stealing? Understand the ramifications? Well, that was a pack of gum. Post Falls Chief of Police Scott Hogue says it isn't uncommon for a business owner to press charges against those who steal, even for something as small as a pack of gum, which can range um, from 50 cents to $3. All right, Hogue so says, a business should not even be allowed to file a fucking, like, police you shouldn't be able to press charges on someone for stealing something that's that inexpensive especially a minor yeah i mean if anything they could say you're not allowed to come into our store anymore you know and if they persist in coming back maybe but you know um if someone going in and stealing an item that's worth you know a dollar is not a big deal I mean, you could say, okay, well, maybe they do it like there could dude, be a pattern the, of behavior the, or whatever. The but. police probably spent more on gas getting going to find this kid to arrest him than the pack of gum. Well, now this, now a nine-year-old has a criminal record. You know, it's like, <laughs> what a fucking joke. He's nine. Yeah. I, I I don't get it. I stole shit from stores all the time when I was. A little I'm not saying it's good for the for kids to steal, but at the same time, like this is such a, a fucking way overreaction. Yeah, the punishment doesn't fit the crime at no. all. Did you guys ever steal shit as kids? Yeah, I course. honestly never have. I've Lame. never stolen anything from a store. I stole all yeah, kinds we, of shit. Yeah, me and TJ did. 
In his 30 years of law enforcement, he's never seen anything like this come across his desk before. And when we asked him it's why idiotic. the nine-year-old didn't come to court, he told us the family had no way of getting him there. He says he wishes he and his officers had known that before the arrest warrant was issued. I was very surprised that it had gotten to this, this level, and I wish that, like I said, I wish we would have um, had some more information so that we could have provided assistance. That's how we try to do business, is to try to provide resources and provide assistance. Um, <laughs> we also try to provide you with criminal records also. I, I, I love how, like, you know, it's like he acts like this unreasonableness is just like coming from the ether or something. <laughs> Like he had, like he had nothing to do with it, and the oh. institution he supports has nothing to do with it. It's yeah, like, not our fault. It's just this thing that happened, and there was no way we could have known, and we're sorry. Well, basically, they're all they're all PR people. If you're if you're the chief of police for a police department, you're basically a PR person for more than anything. Now the child is currently being held in the juvenile detention center, where he will soon stand before a judge. Prosecutors tell us they can't say when that will actually happen. Whip the him! Post falls. Victor Flay the flesh from his bones. Right TJ's definitely a Bolton. Force him to drag his cross atop of the Golgotha, <laughs> so that we may nail him to it. Sad. I mean, didn't As a mob of angry Romans throws fucking rotten vegetables at him and shit. But, Fuck but you, God! There's more than one God! Ha ha ha! Don't hit me, didn't Ben. Didn't they look at the date of birth on this, like, on the arrest warrant? It's like, born in 2006. <laughs> yeah. Didn't that occur to anybody? Like, huh, that seems weird. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Was, was born in, like, the, like, anytime anyone's born in 1995 or later, I just remember how old I am. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me it's too. Weird. Yeah. Old. Let's see. You want to move on? Let's see. It's... I guess we'll. Uh, I know Mercedes has to go, so we'll uh, we'll okay. we'll do we'll do like one more thing before she leaves. Okay. Um, let's see. Can you did, did you get that Nintendo uh, thing I sent you? Uh, I didn't. I forgot about it and didn't download it. But if you want, I can pull it yeah, up. Yeah, because I, I really wanted her to see that because it kind of goes. It kind of goes to the Gamergate thing, in a way. Because it's um. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's uh, it kind of shows that people have always been freaking out over video games for one reason or another. They're evil. If we could find it. Yeah, I'll I'll find it. Ben's looking for it. So in the meantime, Mercedes, just talk about whatever enters your head. <laughs> You know, I have to say that I never thought I'd meet a group of people who are more fucked up than me. Well, and I think have. I found them. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I found my people. <laughs> yes. Now you belong. Yes, this is where you belong. Oh, thank here, you. Here we go. This is an old news story from like the early 90s. Oh, oh I remember that lady with the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The skunk hair. Our video game industry is hotter than ever this season, and one good God, reason the audio is horrible. Nintendo has introduced some hot new toys. It's okay. But have things gone a bit too far? Yes. This evening, Ken Shockey yes. wraps up a special report on video mania. Video mania. Does this really have to cost this much? Where should the anger be directed? Not at the parents, but at the what? The manufacturer does. So it has come to this: therapy event. sessions for families whom you could call Nintendo Pendant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Their son's like, I need to play Mario. Stop it, son. So they're basically sitting there like, Why? We, we need to blame them for making this system so expensive. It's like, are you aware that this was like hard to develop and like involved a lot of technical shit that you wouldn't even understand? Too expensive. <laughs> it's time for an intervention. <laughs> My son is there. I feel maybe exploited. Yeah, they're exploiting them. Psychologists' now. offices might get more crowded this holiday season. Just in time Hell for yeah, Christmas, awesome. the Japanese toy maker Nintendo has come out with a new set of electronic video games. At two hundred dollars, a Super Nintendo setup costs as much as the old system, and you can't mix and match. For the money, the company promises better pictures, sound, and adventures. They deliver. Some of the new games. This is awesome. Updated. Oh yeah, yeah. This guy is so bad at this game that he's about to oh, play. Oh yeah, F Zero. Yeah, and yeah. The, the special effects they use are great too takes on fairly well-known formats. In the racing game of F-Zero, <laughs> you're in a futuristic race car. Oh, I guess I should watch where I'm driving instead of talking. 
The 3D effect, as you can see, is pretty good. It's in reverse. Yeah. yeah. He's so bad. A nice clear stretch. Couldn't they, they have just tried again? Reverse. Let's see if we can't turn the car around right about now. If you're a real good player, meaning you've got the skill of a 9 or 10 year old, you can even try to jump your car. <laughs> but look out. If you miss, the game lets you know your status. Some Why would... But he, like... You could tell he, like, pulled it at the last second. Yeah, yeah, he totally For no did reason. That, yeah. Pussy. I think part of the outrage that parents had at this point is due to the fact that they didn't really have video games when they were kids, but now parents, you know, people our age that are parents oh, yeah. had them as kids, so they don't look at it as, like, this new weird thing, you know. <clears throat> I think that was a big part of the outrage that, that we're seeing in this old. And they're really pissed about the price, and they're really pissed that, like, kids are yeah, spending so much of their time They're maxing the this. Atari 2600. They're like, all we have was Atari. You have these actually good games. Right. Refusing to be taken in. I'm going to say no, and I'm going to explain to him how people market things to make you spend more money. Oh, Nintendo controls. If that woman, I, I, if that I love how in America, if that yeah. woman was that age right now, she would totally be one of the anti gamergate chicks. <laughs> totally. <I'm sure. laughs> She's there. very concerned. She's very upset and concerned about marketing. Yeah, in her consumer culture, like how things are being marketed, like yeah, like she's not buying a bunch of frivolous shit all the time. I you know, just, even even though her Amazon wish list is full of purses, she's just very upset. I mean, some yeah. people are like, some people it's like, I'm a mother, but she's one of those people that's like, I'm a mother, a mother. Don't you understand the power <laughs> that I I have and deserve and and you know, you have to respect <laughs> me, and I'm concerned about this. I'm concerned about my children think being exposed of the children. to this shit. <laughs> Just think about the children, TJ. I'm going to explain to my child that this fucking system is too damn expensive and he can't <laughs> have it. I probably, She's probably got like 20 <laughs> pairs of shoes in her closet, too. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Tent of the that, video market. The perm is expensive. Though some game players <laughs> prefer the pictures of its competitor, Sega. But no matter how you play the game or what game you play, things definitely have come a long way since Pac-Man. Yeah. And Shockneck Channel 4 News. Things sure have come a long way since Pac-Man. Since Pac-Man. <laughs> hey, um, wasn't there like a Gamergate episode of like Law and Order or something that yes. happened yes. recently? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you know, and I haven't ugh. seen it yet. And I, I, I haven't seen it yet either, but I'm being told that there's a character in it that talks shit about feminists on the internet and he wears a wrestling mask, which is... <laughs> that's awesome. I, I don't know if that's true ben, or not. Ben, what yeah. have you been doing lately, buddy? I, yeah. Did you, get a, did you get a TV role, Ben? I, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. He's trying to be all mouse. I haven't seen it. Maybe you guys should go watch it. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea, though. We can work. Like, I kind of want to do that now. Yeah, I, I usually, when I, we're making the exception today because I don't feel very well, but normally I, when I'm on camera, I wear like a like a Mexican wrestling mask, like a luchador mask. Oh, my mask. God, they took it from you. They totally yep. did. Yeah, that's, that's what you I was thinking they did. That's like PTSD. Like, you should start a Patreon and then sue them. <laughs> and then cry on Tumblr. No, he's seriously, gonna, it's profitable. The <laughs> people do it. He's gonna do a GoFundMe. Ben is uh, suffering some serious trauma. He needs a hundred thousand dollars in a vacation to Las Vegas to get over it. I do. Yeah, I'm severely <laughs> and, traumatized. And hookers. Poor Ben. And ice cream. <laughs> I think it's great. No, I haven't seen it yet. Everybody, let me know. And apparently, they parodied the whole thing. But then it was supposed to be. I. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but my take on it was that it was supposed to be like a positive uh, thing for the anti-gamergate like victim crowd. Like it was supposed to be like yeah. positive for them, but then they were still mad about it. Which is like, it's like you can't win. You just can't win. No. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. They were mad about being parodied, even though it was supposedly a flattering parody. Yeah, I don't know. I I really am convinced at this point that there's no pleasing them at this point. That's there their whole not. shtick, though. They're impossible to please. <laughs> I know I know you got to go, Mercedes. Thank you so much for being on, Dude. and we'd love to have you on another yeah, time thanks for being soon. On the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. You guys are so much fun. All right, have a good evening. Uh, bye. You too. Bye. Fare thee well. And now our, our viewership drops 90%. Yeah. You guys like, oh, wait, uh, time to stop fapping. Get real, get real oh, for man. it. How would I rate that call? Oh, uh, man. Ben rates that call. Oh, I'm going to rate it like... Ten stars. Ten. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man. Fuck yeah. <sighs> <laughs> All right. So I guess we'll jump into stupid ads now. Stupid oh, ads. Let's do it. With TJ. Let's fucking do it. All right, TJ. Me and Ben are just going to be silent. 
And you have to do everything now. Okay. It's new. It's hot. It's yeah. shimmer jewelry tattoos. Ooh, Temporary yeah. metallic shimmer jewelry tattoos. Jewelry From tattoos. South Beach to St. Bart's, San Tropez, London, LA comes the new look that everyone's talking about. Okay. Everyone, I have literally never seen no, one person wearing not, this stupid never. shit. I mean, they always do this in these fucking Everyone's talking about they're it. They're always like, everyone's using this. Everyone's talking about it. Sweeping the nation. And you never fucking have ever seen any of this shit. The newest ever. sensation, sweeping the nation. Oh, by the way, everyone watching right now, if you enjoyed the show and you liked Mercedes, as a guest, uh, hit the like button, please. Thumbs up, bitches. Yes. Give us a thumbs Just up. Just pick your design, apply, and let dry. Wow. You'll be turning that heads and getting noticed. And actually, Each we didn't want to announce this while she was still on, but um, Mercedes said she would blow the 500th person to give us a thumbs up starting <laughs> now. <laughs> TJ, what are you clicking on your phone for? Yeah, yeah, TJ's like, yeah. Gotta, gotta, click. gotta wait for a few more people to do I it happen first. to win. Okay. Shimmer jewelry tattoo stays beautiful for four to six days. Wow. And it then it looks like shit for five types. to ten days. Waterproof shimmer but don't worry about that. Shimmer jewelry tattoos last for four to six days and can be removed easily with baby oil. Call or click now and get 25 shimmer jewelry tattoos for just $10. Why spend $24 or more when you can shimmer today for just... Why spend anything at all? Yeah, like why yeah. spend any of that? Is ten dollars. Order now, and we'll double it to fifty yes! shimmer jewelry tattoos. I'm ordering right Get now. Get shimmer jewelry tattoos today for just ten dollars. You won't find this amazing shimmer collection tattoo, in please. stores. Order now. That's awesome, Ben. I want one of those, man. I I ordered some where where would you tattoos. put them? Like on your on your forehead? Put them everywhere, Ben. I'd be like, I'd be more gold and silver than fucking <laughs> flesh tone. I just have them all over the place. Gold. Like a fat Kratos. Yeah. Or gold dust that yeah. works too. Gold. Some of these, uh, some of the ads I have tonight are older ads that are that are ridiculously funny. That's fine. Like here, this one I I actually laughed pretty hard at for quite a while. Stop! Drop it. Okay, what? so it, it already has like like seventies porn music. It looks it. like a porn so yeah. far. They're like, hell so yeah. Fun. Yeah, they're like, hey. You're under arrest. Uh, for what? Eating uh, bad pizza. For what? You have the right to a pizza made oh, fresh God to order it. and delivered right to your door. And an affordable price. You, you have, have the, the right, right to eat pizza shuttle. Oh my God, I want fucking pizza right now. I like how they said it in unison. You have the right to eat pizza shuttle. You have the right to eat. I want it. Give me the pizza shuttle. Pizza. Dude, their pizza doesn't even look that good. P it doesn't. It that's doesn't cause it doesn't have pineapple on it, right, Scotty? That's, that's it. It doesn't have all the garbage you like to put on pizza. Scott, okay, this is what Scotty puts on his pizza. And, uh, <laughs> let me just say that this is. Let me just say for the I record. I make no apologies for like, my shut pizza. Up. Okay, this well, is disgusting. We, Scotty orders a half and half pizza, half what he likes, and then half what everybody else likes. So we all eat the one half of the pizza. I know. And Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Scotty's pizza taste, no one else on earth could possibly like this combination of shit, and this is proof that Scotty is not even human. <laughs> okay? I am a terror. He puts... I mean, uh, the rest of the toppings vary, but he always puts green olives and, and pineapple and together. Those are like the weirdest two things to put together and, in well, my and opinion. Spinach. And spinach. And pepperoni. Well, that's fine. I mean, that, that'll make... Everything and makes sometimes sense. sometimes garlic, too. Like, if you chose pineapple... Or green olives, it would kind of make sense to me. But to chew, to put both those on there, it's, it's fucking like, delicious, dude. It's the most contradictory fucking dude, two it things. Is delicious, yeah, usually, I'm you. usually they do like the Hawaiian pizza. It's like ham and pineapple. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, that's no disgusting. Way. Nah, get that shit away from yeah. me. Fuck Scotty, piece of shit. Do you understand your rights? Don't we get a phone call? You do. You know what I think happened here? You do. I think this guy actually was shooting a porn, and he just figured, <laughs> might as well shoot a commercial for my pizza place while yeah. I've got all these costumes and shit here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty good strategy. He probably made money on both ventures then. Yep. Yeah, if you want to see the extended version of this ad, visit my website. I think it's before websites. Whatever. I mean, what is it? Before they were really popular. What does it matter? You're going to like this next ad, TJ. Just want to fall on your logic, TJ. It's the Brazil butt lift infomercial. I've seen oh, this on hey. late night. Have you? Yeah. 
I'm sure he has. Leandro's booty makeover guide takes you booty step makeover step makeover guide. transformation. Leandro. Customized workout calendar for your butt type. Muy caliente. You to each day to totally yeah. transform your butt. Transform Why your butt. You even get a pencil to take the famous pencil test. <laughs> what? I had never heard of the fucking pencil the test. Famous Wait, pencil it's test. famous, dude. Everyone knows. So you like try to hold pencil a pencil test. under your butt cheek? Is that? Yeah, I guess so. Between like the back of your thigh and your and your ass. Yeah. yeah. If you could, if you pass the pencil, the there's the Bechdel test and there's the pencil test, and the pencil test is much more important. Both equally important. No, yeah. I think they're equally important. The pencil test is way more nah, important. You're to tell you if you have a lifted butt. I did the pencil test and I, I failed. In in two weeks, and I was like, that's not in possible. two weeks. So do you pass it if your ass holds the pencil or if it doesn't? It doesn't. I don't know. They're saying if your ass is too big, that's what they're saying. Well, that's not Brazilian. It's, it's, it's supposed to tone your butt, basically, is what, they, what, they're, what yeah. they're going for. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. I was so amazed. By working out, she by working out test. my butt, I was able to affect changes on my butt. Yes. It's amazing. That's, that's so, it's so incredible. Who would have thought it? Here's, a, here's an ad for a toy, a, a children's toy that came out in 95. We'll check this out. It here. spews fire ants into the child's face. Sweet. Hey, Big John, you're looking a little flushed. When I was just a party, I never thought I'd be <laughs> like up with all these scuzzies that kids have stuffed in me. Big John. You know, I would explode. Big John. So try to flush what? Big John. <laughs> <laughs> Teach kids to play with the toilet. Touch it, kids. Play with the toilet. Yeah, shove lots of shit into the toilet. Yeah. See what happens. There was a lot of weird oh, shit like this in the 90s. Yeah, honestly. that's so true. There was a lot of like weird. There's like this little. There was this weird like Mr. Bucket thing. It had a song yeah. too. Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. Buckets, Buckets are fun. Yeah. Really? And they had like Gator Golf. Gator golf, and then there was the sag like, what could be greater than golf with a gator? I'm like, many things, honestly. It doesn't sound very fun at all. Get rid of all your scuzzies first and win. That looks Big like fun. I, I'm surprised that hasn't, you know, uh, made a comeback. Com you know, st I, I'm surprised that didn't stick around and like it's, usurp Monopoly yep. as the fucking game that all the family members sit together and play. Forget about tr uh, Trivial Pursuit. Forget about Monopoly. Scrabble. Fuck all that shit. Yep. Big John. Big John. What's the object of the game? You put little green turds in a toilet, <laughs> and so at some point they fall out. <laughs> Like uh, that doesn't sound like a very fun game at all. Big John, it is. It got. It's even got a song, dude. Listen to the song. We cut a song for Big this shit. Big John. Big John. Also, wait. Hold, hold you on. You can bind it. Wait, wait. I, I didn't even notice this before. We go back to the beginning of the Big John commercial for a second. Hey, Big John. All right, never mind. It's fine. Washed. What? I was just wondering what all the furniture around him was. Cause for sec, it's for like a second, it's a sink and a tub. For a second, my mind like misremembered it as like being like a couch or something there, and I was no, like, it's like a bathroom. Why was there a toilet in the living room? TJ but. was like, "Man, that's a great idea. I don't even have to get up to go to the bathroom. I can just move over <laughs> one seat." Maybe that's what it was. It was wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Big John. You can bind it, clip it, tie it, or zip it. But, but none of that really fucking works. And leaks out, so you still oh. end up with stale food. Ew, oh, oh my god, it's fucking disgusting. Noodle. But your noodle. flexible friend that seals bags and keeps all your food fresher longer. Uh, the noodle seals on. any bag. No. That's that's ex that, it keeps it fresher longer. What the that fuck? looks like it would have exactly the same TJ, efficacy as any other that fucking clip. saves you money. TJ. It does not. It saves you money. It does not. It saves TJ. you money with fresher food longer. TJ. I don't believe you. Scotty. With the banoodle. TJ. I don't fucking believe and in if the you banoodle. Act now we'll tw double the number of banoodles Hold to on. eight. An English guy says it's good. Okay. Well, and he has an accent. Uh, so refute that. TJ. He knows what he's talking about. Well, I guess checkmate. Yep. Just checkmate. roll it up and bend the ends for an airtight seal every wow. time. The secrets: the Superflex high strength core and bendable coating. Oh. The secrets: oh. you're a gullible fucking Any imbecile. Bag, <laughs> small, just roll and bend to seal them all. For noodles, your flexible friend that seals your food fresh. For noodles are better than bag clips because they seal the bag so nothing spills. For cereal, it's the best. Just roll and bend and keep the crunch in and the stale no out. No kid's Use gonna do that. Use the cold cuts, fresh veggies. You can even seal cheese with ease. And okay. it's your flesh. Here's the problem. 
Uh, I can. Ar- it, it already looks like it's more work than any of those things. And usually, like I don't even. Usually in our house, like the chip clips don't even get used. Like the general thing is like roll the bag, fold back the up. bag on top of itself so that like it's yeah. its own gravity kind of holds it do somewhat closed. I, I got a question for you guys. Do you guys put the twisty tie back on the loaf of bread, or do you just like twist the thing and like uh, tuck it sometimes under? Sometimes I do. You know, it's like usually I'll just like flip it around and yep. then stick the end under yeah i do that too but yeah, sometimes i'll actually go through the thing but it's usually when i lie to myself and say like i'm gonna do that from now on because that's what you should do but then i don't yeah if you haven't done it in 30 years tj you're not gonna get on board yeah you know it's a little late flexible friend for frozen food to protect against freezer burn but noodles Wait, can what? even seal it also somehow there was more because they used that to seal it yes magical hmm Giant bag of pet food. Banoodle gives you an airtight, watertight seal. That's stronger than the bag itself. Watch. Bag clips drip, but Banoodle keeps the water in. If it's watertight, well, why it's are you, airtight. You're Use not Banoodle. storing fucking water in a plastic in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I just made some Kool-Aid. I'm going to put it in this plastic bag. Also, what is this, Canada and milk? Also, I mean, like, it, there are zip, there are plenty of Ziploc bags that you can put liquid in anyway, and it will hold it. You don't even need that stupid shit. Why am I even, I mean, like, I don't even know why I'm, like, explaining why this product is worthless. It so evidently is to any anyone looking at it. Entry for pack lunches or for picnics. But Noodle is your bendable buddy and flexible friend that seals the meal. It keeps air out and freshness in. And unlike bag clips, you can neatly store a bundle of Noodles in a drawer. And they're dishwasher safe. Banoodle's great in that it really keeps everything fresh and airtight. Banoodles Not a paid so actor. Get my <laughs> She's just food. really passionate about yeah. Banoodle. I love Banoodle. The noodle is great. It keeps everything airtight. I air love tight. Banoodle. Call now and you'll get not one, but ten Banoodles for just ten dollars. But <laughs> now calibrating the noodle. The noodle no, is calibrating. calibrating. It's not the noodle. noodle. It's ba noodle. The ba noodle is cal- still calibrating. Calibrating, <laughs> calibrating the ba noodle. As part of this special offer, we'll double the value. Just pay separate shipping and processing. You'll get twenty Banoodles for just ten dollars. That. Man, you know, mu- I'll, I'll go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, if they can give them away for 50 cents each, how much do you think these fucking things cost oh, to make? Nothing. Uh, they look like they cost pretty much nothing. Yeah. I was I was just thinking, it's like, man, how can people keep falling for the same shit? It's like every fucking year these people come out with some new fucking product, and it's like, but we'll double the offer. We'll do this. Like, do you guys not see you're being had? Like, there's, there's going to be a segment of people that buy these kind of shit. Otherwise, right. you wouldn't see this on TV. I got exactly. a lot of good stuff by ordering off the TV. Because it costs money to put these ads oh, on yeah, TV. Oh, yeah, a ton of money. A ton of money to put all these ads on TV. You know, and they're giving away, they're giving them away basically 50 cents each. Yeah. So, I mean. That's why I'm saying, like, what, what a sucker you must be to buy this kind of stuff. It's oodles of noodles in an assortment of fun colors, all for just $10. That's right, just $10. Here's how to order. Here's another one that that I laugh pretty hard at. You want to keep your face warm, but you don't want to raise your heating <laughs> bill. Cold having a seizure. Trips can be ruined when uh, you so I'm having a cold. I have to go Blankets like this. Blankets work okay, but they're hard to keep in place. And yeah. <laughs> the Blankets are hard to keep in place. God, so blanket hard. levitate over me. It won't do it. <laughs> you set the blanket on top of you. Next thing you know, it's on top of the ceiling. It's like crawling off of you. Yeah, it's like yeah, skin it's- of evil. <laughs> <laughs> Find the think- blanket out in the yard. What are you doing out here? Like, hold, it's like, like holding a picture of you in an axe. Like, 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 oh shit. Stale air. It's almost impossible to sleep with your head under a blanket for long without having to uncover your oh, head for fresh air. Sleep masks block out light, but your face still gets cold. Now there's the face blanket. The blanket with a breathing hole. <laughs> Look at fucking... It's a, okay, I, it's a blanket. It's like a cloth I, with a hole cut I, I, in I it. Have a, I have an idea about how you could make this product yourself at home. All you need is an ordinary small blanket and a pair of scissors, and you could. But it contours to your face, TJ. It does not contour. It contours. Any blanket contours to anything it's set on top. It contours to your face, TJ. I'm buying the face blanket. I'm sold. The face blanket keeps your oh, face yeah. totally warm uh, and lets you breathe uh, outside air while saving uh, on heating costs and camping What if you're outside? a mouth breather, though? So Come now on. you can sleep in total warmth and comfort um, in any setting. The kids will love a new security blanket in the form of a face blanket. Uh, face blanket makes a great holiday. Yay, deal. mom and dad! Thank hey you. guys, let's all take a nap with my new face blanket. I thought you'd never ask. 
Man, I, I, I thought like, the I thought the burqa was taking yeah. it far, but man, yeah, I got the face blanket now, dude. You Muslims have see. become even more extreme. Look at this. Luxurious soft fleece with a specially designed breathing hole that will fit everyone. So now you can sleep on your back or side in total warmth from Hunters head to toe. can use Perfect it. Perfect for everyone. Yeah, you know, when you're firing a gun, it's <laughs> great to have your face covered, you know? Oh, yeah, of course. Also, I like how he's all totally decked out in camouflage, and then he puts a giant <laughs> blue <laughs> blanket <laughs> over his that, face. That makes no sense. <laughs> now he sticks out like a sore fucking thumb. I'm going deer hunting. Let me just fucking, like, you know, I'll put on some loud rap music and the fucking, uh, what is this called? The face blanket on. Yep. The deer will never see me. So how much do you guys think this shit costs? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I would say Scotty's probably right. That's not all the face blanket can do. You probably get can more, use the though. face blanket as a prop while they sneak out of the house. Hunters can sleep in the wild and not disturb wildlife. Instantly become unrecognizable with the face blanket when you see an ex or someone else you don't. No, no, no. Come on, seriously. When she sees her ex, oh Don't shit. Don't want to see at a party. A Halloween mask to scare trick-or-treaters. Useful when you're not in the mood. What? <laughs> Near a mountain? Good thing there's the face blanket. Is this bullshit? It is. Yeah, it's clearly bullshit. Like, it seemed real up until this part. Yeah. Yeah, th yeah this is bullshit. When you, you, got, you buy you the face been. blanket, you're helping save the planet. Because our soft, luxurious fleece is made from recycled pop bottles. So don't... Don't be the one oh, with no, the I cold face. Order the face blanket now. I think they were just trying to inject a little humor, but oh, it's an actual product. Yeah, because there's an actual website and everything. Oh, we were wrong, though. It's only nine ninety nine. Yeah. Nine ninety nine. But you only get Michael. one. I thought it'd be twenty and they'd give you two. Nah. Bastards. Maybe it is it's, fake. It's I don't know. Who it's cares? two for twenty. At any rate, it's stupid. Faceblanketsplus.com. I'm guessing it's real. I don't know. Everyone go buy me a face blanket. It's only nine ninety nine plus shipping and hand. Nine ninety nine. Mike. I better wake up tomorrow with fifty face blankets on my fucking stoop. What happens if you don't get fifty? Then I'll kill myself. Okay. That's pretty extreme. Here's an ad for uh for Think Geek USB Pet Rock. Hell yeah! It looks pretty happy to me. It's smiling. This is just a subtle Coke ad. I know it. Oh, Lipton, Lipton diet too. I think Lipton is owned by Coke, though. Maybe. Probably so. They sell this kind of shit on Think Geek, though, right? Probably. <laughs> Greatest ad ever. The USB pet rock. That's awesome. It looks so useful. Let's see, we'll move on to the next one. Does the way you feel keep you from doing simple things you enjoy? Yes. Discomfort can stop you and steal all the fun out of life. Yeah. Yep. If you are dealing with daily discomfort, you know how it can slow you down. I sure yep. do. But now, there's an amazing breakthrough that can help you Finally. feel better. Healing what, crystals. Yeah, what do you think it is? Uh, it's probably... So it's uh, I don't know it's probably some kind of like weird spring yeah. contraption that you like put on the affected or maybe, area or like maybe it's something you wear to give yourself like healing or something. energy or something Here or like go. vibrates against your skin I don't fucking know magnets introducing Cam2 gum Cam2 is a unique Hemp oil combination gum. of great tasting 100% all natural ingredients developed by a team of doctors developed by NASA scientists CBD gum CBD stands for cannabidiol can two gum is non habit forming. Doctor recommends it, it can't have THC in it though. No, there's no way. No prescription. It does in Colorado. Now, it's legal in all 50 states. Can two gum has been featured in major newspapers and national magazines. The secret is each piece yeah, of you paid for ads gum there. 50 milligrams of hemp oil with 10 milligrams of naturally occurring CBD. What's CBD? I don't know. It said what it was, but it was too fast, actually. Cantu helps me keep going so I can get through the day. When I chew Cantu gum, I just feel great. Can you just smoke gum weed loaded and with actually powerful get THC and everything? The natural hemp oil is rich in heart-healthy omega-3s. It's a great-tasting gum that's actually good for you. The minty fresh flavor keeps your breath fresh, while the CBD helps you feel great. I've never heard of CBD in my life. I, I mean, I'm. No. It's probably something real that exists in uh, hemp, but I've never heard of it. And I don't know. I 
I think this is kind of misleading marketing. I want. Yeah. I would say you're right. I think they're trying to make you think that it's going to get you high. But yeah, you yeah. buy it like fuck yeah, yeah, and fuck then it yeah, dude. Like, we go, man. <clears throat> Can 2 gum has no artificial sweeteners or preservatives. Yeah, and it's non-GMO, toxins. gluten-free, vegan, and kosher. <laughs> oh, Call God. Them. Sweet. We know who they're targeting now. Yeah. Like, vegan, kosher, and everything you, like, might be afraid of. Oh, it's GMOs in it? No, no GMOs. Oh, okay, good. Two payments of $20 plus shipping and handling oh, wow. for this shit. It's gum. It's like snake oil. You know, modern- Earlier, we had a, a story about a kid who stole gum. Now we have a story about gum who steals from you. Yes. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Line now and get a 16 In capitalist America, gum, gum steal you. $19.99. If you don't love it, send it back for a full refund. Order now and you can add a Just send back pack. a bunch of chewed you just pieces. Pay processing yeah, I didn't like them. That's an $80 value. It's a giant ball. All for only two payments of $19.99. Only two Tap payments? The amazing power of CBD. Why not three or let four? Can chew gum help you feel great so you that can kid, really enjoy now. life. Order Can Chew Gum now. She's very excited. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> they try to make her look like she's all high. Like, yeah, this is great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Not available in stores. Meaningful. Have you ever watched a movie high off your ass and been like, wow, this movie's great. And then like later on you watch it again. You're like, man, why did I like this? Um, I can't I've think done of that. that. I've done that drunk, but I've not done that stone. Dude. I've, have I, ever, have I ever told on this show the story about the time Scotty fucking was raving about those hamburgers? <sighs> oh, no. Uh, oh, my God. Well, So one time Scotty got... Was he got, high? No, he was drunk. I was drunk as he shit. He came back home from the French Quarter. This We li- were living in Louisiana. He was drunk. Scotty, what's the name of the place? I thought she came out from uh, Uptown. Whatever. What's the, the name quarter. of the place? Uh, the Balcony Bar. He came from this place called the Balcony Bar. And he fucking raved for like 30 minutes about how good the fuck Was he drunk were. when he was raving about yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, okay. completely drunk. But you know what? He still believed it the next day. And he said, it was the best fucking burger I've ever had in my entire life. And I'm like, Sky, I think it was just probably just because you were drunk, dude. No. No, dude. No way, man. It's the best fucking burger I ever had in my life. <laughs> I know, because I remember him that. I was literally <laughs> arguing with him. That I was like, TJ. Like, vehemently. You don't understand. You're an idiot. And then, so he finally, one day he goes back sober to try the burger again. He comes back. I'm like, how was the burger? He's like, eh. <laughs> it wasn't that great. He said it was like. When sh- I was drunk, though, that was like the best hamburger I've ever had. It was like the juiciest. Like, yeah. oh, gosh. It's like the. This is like the nectar of the gods going Dude, you know into my those, mouth. Like, you know those shitty little crackers that have like the minuscule amount of like pseudo cheese like crusted to the inside of them? Yeah. yeah. That you have to scrape off with your teeth and it's not really that great. I remember one time I was so fucking high that I ate one of those crackers and I, I was like, oh my god, this is fucking delicious. This is better than a fucking filet mignon. No, give me more. And I ate like a whole <laughs> fucking box of them. You know, one time I watched a movie while I had eaten a certain type of fungus, <laughs> and it was uh, it was that movie with uh, it was it was Spy Game that movie with Brad Pitt and Robert Redford. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh man, while I was watching that, I'm like, man, this is a classic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh man, you've got to be shitting me. I was like on the edge of my seat, like. <laughs> this is a masterpiece. And then, and then I watched film. it again later. I'm like, meh. You know, uh, it that. wasn't like terrible, terrible, yeah, but it wasn't. Like, okay it was not movie, the masterpiece yeah. you remember no. it being. <laughs> That's right. That's like Robert. Re- yeah, this is like he, Robert Redford outdid himself this time. The sting ain't shit at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. yeah. One more. Yeah, we got one more. Um, everyone, uh, don't forget. Uh, there's going to be some extra content on iTunes later on. Uh, once this is made available for download on iTunes. And, uh, you know, if you want to hear some extra stuff that we're going to record, feel free to download it. You know, we've uh, we've made it into the top 50 podcasts in the United States and and some other countries around the world, Um, even uh, even into the top 15 in a few of the other countries like Australia and Canada. So we really appreciate all the support and that helps out the show a lot. So feel free to download this episode to get some exclusive content. I don't know what the fuck was going on there but it's yeah where they're selling basil akutin <laughs> don't you want some basil akutin yes. scotty i'm gonna invest in their company even so convinced i am of their product 
Yeah, it's a fine product. Oh, indeed. <clears throat> I love it. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the YouTube portion of the show. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks again to Mercedes for being our guest. And thanks to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Satan. Fuck you, TJ. <laughs> <laughs>